Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. Yeah, baby. I don't know what this new yeah, baby is. Have you been watching a film and you've heard it in a film? I don't actually know where I've heard it. I feel like, me, I feel like someone else does me, it and I'm You reminded me of Donkey from Shrek. What, is that because of the way I look or the way I sound? Or, or maybe just the ultimate combination. I was thinking both. Yeah. No, no. What's the giraffe called from Madagascar? Not trying to, not trying. I'm not trying to do this Melman. now. Melman. Bro, people, what, <laughs> what is with this shit? I, look, I don't look the giraffe thing. Look, I understand. Yeah, I'm, I've got neck. Well, I've got a I'm neck. Wait, 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 wait that sounds I'm, nuts. I'm with you. I actually also got quite a neck myself. I think it's just because you're taller than me. Do I get you, a bad one too. Ice Age, Sid. Oh, I always get this get on that. it. Always get him, and I'm just like, this really ain't good because Sid is. You know, Melman, all right. Yes, he's tall. He's, he's got longer tributes, but he's still a Donny and he's big. Yeah. Sid is he's a little fucking weasel. S- weasel, man. He's a sloth. He's <laughs> small and he's ugly and his eyes are big and he's just like. Arr. So, yeah, thank you. We can stop with a Sid thing. Yeah. Why I, don't you like. like I, I get a memory, bro. My lookalike, by the way, I want to talk about my lookalikes. My, I constantly get lookalikes all the time. And I'll tell you what, there is only one genuine lookalike, okay? Cart Titan. <laughs> bro, Attack of Titan, you know that one, <laughs> bro. Look, I get that. No, no, I get all this up, but there is genuinely only one okay. actual lookalike, okay? And you guys can feel free to Google this, right? And it's the only one I've ever agreed with. And it is there's an ITV weatherman, right? Type in on, on Google images, type in ITV weatherman, yeah? And it, there's probably a few different ones, but you'll know the one that looks well, we can just get like Alex me. to bring it up on screen right now. And in fact, I'm so curious to. See, See what this so guy looks like. Pour these drinks out for us here, Alex. Which, by the way, today, guys, I'm drinking a vodka Fanta Fruit Twist. What a shout! Fanta Fruit yeah, Twist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just it's the only thing we got in our fridge that wasn't lemonade at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you want to pull that up so I can have a look, I want to see cows look like. Yeah. You know, uh, t- you- I, 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 ITV Weatherman. ITV Weatherman. Check it out. Check it out. So what, you just type it in ITV Weatherman on Google, and that's yeah. legit going to be it. You know, it should be like. I, I, It'll be one of the first few guys. You'll know instantly uh, what it is. But anyways. Yeah, come on. What have you got for me today? Episode what? Oh, God. What? 32? 32, 32 it is. 32. And we are flying. You're flying, baby. The Gib episode. People oh, loved it. Gib's did. energy was so good. Yeah. New Fellas Mysteries came out as we were recording this. It came out yesterday. It's but that good, one man. was uh, by the that time they're watching it. flying, bro. Which one flying. was it yesterday? It was... Um, Alexis Sharkey. Yeah, Alexis Sharkey. People but we just did another it. one today. Yep. Uh, that that uh, Alexis Sharkey is all about an influencer who uh, tragically was killed by yeah. the looks well, of things. Well, by the time they're watching this, it will be DB Cooper will be out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll have like a DB Cooper that's all about. Um, like it's just a crazy like yeah. heist. DB Cooper is one of the best like heist stories ever. Oh, ever, and it's something that you've wanted to cover for so oh, long. Ages. So. I just love that one. It's a good story, man. Donnie yeah. jumps out of a plane like and just me. robbed. Just, what was it yeah. like quarter million? The fact that he's never like been that, found and he could just be alive yeah it could be alive bit crazy, anyways yeah. if, if that if those sort of uh, stories interest you guys well we, we've gone and made a whole channel dedicated yeah. to, to hit, talking about it hit and that link in the description right 100 percent, fellas mysteries but um yeah mate i want to just say th- the weather thank god thank the lord we have we have We're sunshine back, we, we need we need some sort of like national alarm every time the the temperature goes above 20 and the mm-hmm. sun is out because i am I'll be honest with you guys. I can't wait for this podcast to finish because me and Chip are heading right, right up, up to, to the, the roof rooftop. and we're getting bevved. 100%. You know, the weather is amazing right now. I'm, I'm so, it's so good. nice. It's considered me taking Moses off Fraud Watch. No, 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 no. Remember we can't we, do that. Nothing. We put him on Fraud Watch on like episode three, right? It, it was early doors. He early got slapped. Early doors, he early doors. You know, Donnie's not been parting this Chip, I've got, I've got But the clouds have been parted. They, and I, all I have. I have, that's what I'm saying. All I'm seeing is blue. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. But the craziest thing is, Somebody said to me the other day, and this is a bit crazy. In fact, it's our barber. <laughs> our barber, because yeah. he's a really Legend. nice guy. Shout out, Faz. He, yeah, and he goes, he goes, you know why I think the weather was so shit in May? He was like, because of Corona, everything was closed and the, um, all the factories and stuff uh, right. weren't weren't making the atmosphere like super hot. And I was like, you know, you've got a point, but at the same time, I don't know. Like he, he the way he well, said it. We were just saying it was because there was so many negative vibes around. Well, he just was like, oh, Corona, 100%. It could have affected the weather. Because you know how, like, in Venice, right? You remember Corona yeah. in Venice? All the boats had to stop. Yeah. The Venice waters became clear because the uh, boats were not kicking Like, pollution-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see all the fish in the Venice water. Fish were returning to Venice rivers and stuff. That, I'm that pretty sure crazy. the weather was just bad because the weather was bad, to be well, honest with I you, Well, I think lads. maybe I'm with you on that, but yeah. at the same time. I like the theory. I like the theory. Yeah. Um, oh, but you did briefly mention uh, Fraud Watch. Who's on Fraud Watch? We put someone on? Yeah. 
Seriously, and look, I do, I don't like doing this. I really don't like doing this. You're scaring me right now. I'm so yeah. amazed. At um, we need to talk about Pep Guardiola. Oh, jeez, Lord about, have Just briefly, mercy. we need to talk about it. Uh, look, the Champions League final uh, happened. This will be, be kind of not all. I saw but. I saw Pep Guardiola the other day as well. What after, in the flesh? After the loss in the flesh. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You're lying. Yes, I did. I yeah, I was in a shisha shop. He was smoking shisha on the back of his own. Posted on my story, lad. You not see it? No, you're waffling. God, I don't watch my Insta stories. Man. You're waffling, bro. Hundred percent. I saw him. Did smoking. you? Did you go up to him and you, did you ask him why he didn't Mate, start he a defensive midfielder? He was smoking that pipe. He was smoking that pipe. I said to him, I was like, Rodri. He was like, No, no, no. no Fernandinho. No. no. Yeah, he was like, You know, what influence I had on English football. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, seriously though, like on a serious note, like obviously, I'm not gonna lie, I've got screenshots to prove it. I thought Chelsea was gonna win I the final, on that, anyways. Yeah. Um, I know they were the underdogs, but really, like, there's a like, even Man City fans, I think you guys will be the first day, like, Pep got it wrong, yeah. And ultimately, Chelsea were the better team on the night, yeah. They I, were, they, they, they were. looked like they wanted it a bit more, could have been 3 0 first half to, if I don't know. Right. Weren't it? Yeah, I, I, that Foden chance was unreal as well. Rudiger with a big stop. Yep. Look, I, I, I don't. I, I got two big questions for Pep. Uh, one, why didn't you start a defensive midfielder? Um, whether that be Fernandinho or Rodri. And then second of all, you know, look, I love Raheem Sterling, Sterling class guy. I just don't think he's in form enough. You, I don't think he should have started that oh, game. Oh mate, definitely not. Raheem Sterling. You know, I've had a mare with him on FPL this season, so I knew he was. A not he was out of stinker. Yeah, he should just put forward and on the left. <sighs> yeah, I just don't, mate. He played the DM. It, a lot of people are saying he just completely overthought it. Like he's tried to out tactic yeah, yeah. Uh, Tuchel, and it's just he gone should have just up. stayed with his team that he knows works. Bro. You know, the one that doesn't concede, but the one that still can attack. But you know what the properly. thing is? He'd lost to Chelsea twice this season already. He is. He hasn't. He hasn't beat Chelsea. And yeah, so in his he, mind, he's thinking, really lost, I need lost to him just before a few weeks before. Yeah. Right? And in his mind, he's thinking, right, I need to do something a bit out there. Here's something he's not going to expect. But yeah. ultimately, if you have no defensive midfielder to stop the pace of Werner, that team, that team has quite a bit of pace, man. And Mount just fed an absolute beauty through to Havertz. Shout out Havertz, by the way. At yeah. first, so a gastro. lot of people were, uh, were putting him on fraud watch. And let me tell you, that Donny is, is lighting it up lately. Yeah, he looks class. Which I see looking decent at the moment. I mean, yeah. I, when, before the final, I just couldn't, I was kind of like, first I was like, yeah, Chelsea's going to win it. Then I was like thinking, mm, but City, man, should I really so doubt strong. them? Then I was like, City are going to win it. Then I went back to Chelsea. But I think like Pep just and City, when it comes to these big moments in the Champions League, <sighs> Mate, they, never, they you, never pull through. And I think that was what has happened. Uh, yeah. Anyways, look, what I will say is credit to both teams because let me tell you, that was one of the best all English finals I've ever watched. Usually all English, like Liverpool Spurs, absolute rotter. That oh, was yeah. such a boring game. And just in general, like all, -ish, all, all English finals tend to be quite dull. But seriously, from the, from the moment the whistle blew to the end, to the final whistle, it was an entertaining game I'll tell you what was good. That fucking United, um, Villarreal penalty oh, shootout. My, Jesus my God. Right, Chip, Christ. Chip, Could you your team, my, what, what what happened? Could you, well, imagine my pain. And so, first of all, I think if Maguire played that game yeah. we we win that game yeah. second of all the subs were awful I think Oli fucked the subs Rashford really? should probably shouldn't have even started he had maybe. a bit of a howler that game he's, no. he's been carrying injury like underlying injuries okay. for a couple of months you know um, mm -hmm. I don't know what I personally wouldn't have even started him or if I would have started him he would have come off in the 60th if he started yeah. you've seen him he was looking he looked pretty bad it's one of yeah. his worst games but instead who did he take off he took off Greenwood you know, know, Greenwood. You didn't agree with the subs. I didn't anyways. agree with the subs anyway. And then the penalty shoot. I was just. It was a fucking class penalty shoot. I would just man. like to say. I would just like to say. Look, the, whatever team that won that, it, you had to just say you respect just, yeah, to both respect, teams there because, because all outfield players scored. And not only that, but there were some cracking pens as well. Some Mental seriously pens. amazing pens. I was well impressed. And ultimately, you know what? Uh, David De Gea is going to be scapegoat because he was the one yeah. that missed a penalty. But at the same time, it's like, not, this is a keeper taking a not pen, only, guys. Not only that, but um, obviously I'm a big De Gea fan, but I'm just saying here, he hasn't saved a penalty he, I, the, 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 stat, the, st the stat is yeah somewhat crazy like that yeah. 30 30 plus penalties the last 30 penalties is hasn't saved hasn't saved whereas Dean Henderson what did Dean Henderson have saved one of those penalties I think so but at the end of the day penalties it does come down to a lot of chance but oh, the Haya did dive the right way on some of them it just couldn't get the right hand to it it was unfortunate. But, but yeah. Anyway, mate, we we have discussed football a bit too much here, you know. So, anyways, but what I'd like to say, it was it was a cracking week for finals, oh, for European 100%, 100%. finals, and it was great. And Euros, June thirteenth. We're excited. Uh, no. 
Well, June 13th is yeah, England's England, yeah. first game against Croatia. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm doing a little something. I'm, I'm making a video around that. So I'm really yeah. excited I'll to get- I'll be there. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. Um, speaking of film and YouTube videos, actually, uh, I was a part of a Sidemen video. I don't really know when it's going up, so I'm not going to go into it. But you, uh, some people might have seen JJ absolutely spammed a bunch of stories last night. Um, and it was all the boys. I'm not going to lie. It was like 4 a.m. We were all absolutely battered. Um, and we were watching- what as you do as you do as you know men in their mid-20s um we pulled up some old school call of duty montages while we were absolutely peppered and let me tell you it was one of the most hype things i have ever been involved in we stuck on the old school montages um you know shout out anybody that knows about like jazz um uh like darkness oh, mate, like all these old school call of duty montage makers uh grizz as well um and we just stuck them on and it was like the biggest throwback ever and you know it was kind of like i'm i'm gonna get a little emotional right here yeah just real quick but it made me realize that all the boys that i was sat with um it was it made me realize that we all came up on the same shit, shit yeah. like we all came up doing the same thing and people don't realize that you know nowadays people are like i'm gonna become a youtuber i'm gonna make money you don't understand back then yeah we had to save leave. our pocket yeah. money to buy something that was called a dazzle right no um, the dazzle man right. that's a throwback yeah yeah the so, H, uh, the, uh, nine, after the dazzle it was the hapage hdpvr yeah. Wow, you're throwing me you back got, here, you, man. So to people that don't know, uh, a dazzle was something that, that was how you captured your gameplay. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it could only do it in like 360p yeah, and some of them would it? only record in black and white. Um, <laughs> but I, I managed to get like the Dazzle Pro. Are we that old, by the yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh so the Dazzle God. Pro, so I could record it, right? And I could record in color, but I could only play in black and white. So I was playing Call of Duty in black and white, but my recordings bro, were in color. I that, man. That is, that is outrageous. And, it, 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 and, and the reason why it was just so sick was just like, bro, back then we, I was saving up 80 quid to buy that thing, which took me like quite a few weeks to save up my pocket yeah. money. Or like, you know, I was doing like little bits and bobs. I was selling crunchies at school um to to buy this and it's like right like we all did this and it was purely a hobby you couldn't make money it wasn't even a thing after that i saved up even more money for what you said was a hd pvr uh -huh. um which allowed me to then record my gameplay in hd and i yeah, could finally it was play it was, it was in what color was it? it was 720p wasn't yeah. it that's the max you could go but it was at that time it was majestic if I, you yeah, had an good. hd pvr like you were you were a step above everyone oh, else because it was big it yeah. was a really big move and, and and that was like 150 quid for one of yeah. those um and yeah i was just saving up money for that um and it just, like we were all just talking about it reminiscing we're just watching these old school and it's like watching those montages that's what we would watch and we wanted made us want to make these youtube videos and it just makes you think without those call of duty montages back then like we all wouldn't be sat here i'm not going to give the video away too much but we were in a very luxurious spot yeah. at the time it looks nice and one, it, bro, well. yeah and it was just one of those where we would lay like not like a we made it moment, but it was it was kind of along those lines. Like we all don't we all think that there's so much room to go, but we definitely have done an incredible job uh, so yeah, far. Yeah, for sure. I was um, never like it was trick shotting videos that you were watching and stuff, right? Yeah, it's just that, monta that Call was, of Duty montage. I was I was right there from when COD Four blew up, and but mm. I just never was into trick shotting for some reason. Really? I was into I had a Twitter account for it and everything. Yeah. I was into competitive COD. Oh, competitive. Yeah. Okay. I was actually trying to find my COD Twitter account the other day. I can't find it. It was called like Chip COD or something. Yeah. Some people might remember it from back in the day. And I used to just be like playing twos, wages, everything. Everything I could. All day I had a little team going with me that we'd always play. Just sat there on game battles. You remember Bang. game battles? Yeah, oh, my game, battle, game battles was a classic. To people that don't know, it, so it was good. just like a competitive site. You, yeah. and, you and your... So like what we had in my school, yeah. me and three of my boys, we played 4v4 like Search and Destroy. You would make a team on this website called Game Battle. Yeah. It probably still exists. It um, does exist. It yeah. does. And you would then go and challenge other teams in Europe and 4v4. And it was a leaderboard as to where you were. Um, and just loads of crazy stuff. Like you, when you used to play against the Spanish people, I, you, they used to just shout abuse at you down the mic. It was nuts. Yeah, it was crazy. I was actually on game battles, like maybe even last year. Really? Yeah, what were when you I was playing there? Fortnite with me and my Joe, we were just on game battles and we just beat, because we just played Fortnite so much, we uh -huh. beat every single person we come across. Really? And, we you say, and you could make money out of it as yeah, well, Yeah, right? uh, well, I don't think people use game battles to make money anymore. There's a different website, but yeah, okay. there was a guy I knew, uh, Fortnite player called Seven Josh, and he made like maybe 45, 50 grand just from Fortnite wages. But he's sick of Fortnite, Kill right? races and stuff. Yeah. But he's sick? Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, he is a really yeah. good player. Yeah, uh, but no, it doesn't, mate. I, you know, it also reminded me, like we were just reminiscing like back in the day, like Call of Duty lobbies. 
um and like with the shit that was said in these cod lobbies just like absolutely Outrageous, like man. i'm talking like guys i and i i really do mean this is that i think the reason why i have such thick skin now and why things don't really bother me cod is, mate, is seriously like in cod lobbies, like, like you would go on and you would get abused oh, like relentless and you man. had to learn how to clap back and bro if you for one second stuttered yeah. it's a fucking oh, it oh, a rap. bro if you stuttered it was rap. It when was you, over if you're trying to slag someone off or someone's slagging you off and you try clap back and you stutter done out you you have Good to night. leave you just leave the lobby you leave the lobby Good there's no point over. hanging about and that, and you know what as well by the way remember like cod 4 um so there wasn't i think it was you there wasn't really party chat at the time so you used game chat yeah. and on search of a destroy like if you died that was it you couldn't talk to the team and so say you're the last man yeah. on search of a destroy you know you've got all your team and now they're all dead yeah it's just you on your own it and then you come you, you get the final kill you come back into the lobby yeah! Yeah, that it was, was amazing. Nuts. Or 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 when or if you fail and you die and you're the last man, everyone's oh, there like you're yeah. a fucking idiot. It's what so, the hell are you doing? Yeah. Go home. Yeah, if you turn off your bad, Xbox. So awkward. Shit like that. I'd always be thinking like, oh no, if I fuck this, I go back to the game chat. The boys are gonna roast me. You know what my favorite thing is? Yeah, is back in the day, what what you used to do is to prove to people in school if you had like a mad game, you got like a crazy score. Yeah. yeah everyone would take a, take their phone, take a picture on their like slide up fucking Nokia, yeah. and and take a picture of the screen, and you'd go into school and be like. Look at this nuke that I got. Yeah, Look yeah, at this yeah, nuke yeah, that I yeah. Got. <laughs> And it was not, bro. I remember I used to just like Modern Warfare to get the ACR certain gun, and I just yeah. got all day. I just try playing for nukes because mm -hmm. I think it was Modern Warfare two. Well, often about COD here a bit too much, but oh, fuck it, bro. Uh, COD times were the best. Anyway, uh, do you remember when Modern Warfare two and they brought it out, and it was you had the special like emblems that were animated. Yeah, so ones. if you had two hundred fifty, two hundred. No, no. Um, I'm talking about when you did a challenge. So if you had called in two hundred fifty predator, yeah. predator missiles, yeah, you yeah, get a spinning yeah, predator yeah, yeah, yeah. missile, stuff like that. There was one for a nuke. Yeah. obviously but you had to get like 25 nukes or something Ridiculous. so I was grinding for that constantly yeah, sitting in the same campy little spots like a <laughs> just proper, trying to get it, yeah. proper twat oh mate those, those were those were definitely good times man and yeah it was just it was nice it was a moment and I, it, it's not on camera like on the for the Simon video I won't be there because we'd yep. sort of like stopped filming at this point but it was just a, a, a insane throwback and what I realized was there's so many new fans new people especially over lockdown like it is insane obviously we've got all the fellas the new fellas all uh -huh. the stuff and they weren't around in the times where where that happens and they just sort of see the now they didn't see that you know i've had my youtube channel for 11 and a half years now like, that's a long time that's I'm fucking not, crazy I'm, I'm, I'm maybe like how old am i don't 20, 26 yeah okay i thought you were gonna really yeah, fuck yeah, me yeah. over there 26 yeah i'm probably eight years yeah eight years into it but that's what i mean and no one thinks about like the times i actually you know We've been fucking grinding for a long time. I remember bro. one of the biggest points that made me like blow up or maybe think I was gonna do this properly was. Do you remember Alp Twenty Seven HD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, sure yeah. I've maybe only a, a few, few of you YouTuber. guys remember. Him. He's a bit of a FIFA YouTuber legend, or yeah. you know, an OG. Yeah. Uh, I always used, his Twitter picture was a uh, blue Subaru. Yes, yes. Go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember oh, that? The blue Subaru, and bro. He used legend. to do this thing called Alps uh, Sunday shout out. Yeah, yeah. You probably got your one, and then yeah. eventually I got my one, and I had 300, 400 subs, and I was so gas. And you get to yeah. watch him gassing you up, and you're like, oh my god, I love this guy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you gain about 400 subs from it back in the day. Mate, massive. It's huge. And then normally 400 subs that actually will stick around and watch. Yeah, well, that was the thing back in the day, like shout outs, all that sort of stuff. That was all really helpful early doors. Now. Nowadays, if you make a video with someone and you leave their link in the description, it doesn't make a, a difference at all. No one's yeah. go clicking over and subscribing. Like, to be honest with you, not that many people actually subscribe to things anymore, um, which is, which is a real shame because they just mainly do it off like their recommended Home page and recommended. Yeah. yeah, it's true to be honest, but yeah. they don't. The subscribe button goes a long way. To be fair, it does. No, it, well, it helps so much because then YouTube think, oh, look, people really like this person's content. Uh -huh. We're gonna try and recommend it to more people. So mm -hmm. that's why, guys, we do ask that yeah. if you aren't subscribed to this and the mysteries channel yeah. then it actually helps Go us a drop lot a, drop a like comment if you want There's comment good, is good. good good community on both channels to be fair it i is. think people a lot of people don't comment because you know they can't be asked or whatever but like the comment section on our channels, they get a lot of replies within People each just other. have like people, conversations. I've seen, I go there and I see like a list of 20 replies. People just chatting to each other. I love, I love that. That's yeah. so sick by the way. I've and we read all of them. I've them. seen people arguing and then yeah. go from arguing to agreeing yeah, and then going to mates. And I'm just like, what is going on here? By the end of it, it's like, yo, what's your snap, bro? <laughs> yeah, well, good, yeah, you got 100,000 snap score. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, oh, by the way, Girls with high snap score. You've seen this whole thing. <laughs> I've heard about it, but yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I don't use Snapchat that much, but I've heard about it. So like, 
um, it's like a little meme like I see it on these shitty Insta pages yeah. oh if I see you're watching a snap go, snap score or go up when go she's up. gone offline yeah 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 so is that like if a snap score is going up does that mean that they are still snapchatting yeah 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 so your snapchat your snap score goes up based on the snapchats that you send out ah. right so what they're saying is that oh they're not online or they haven't replied to your snapchat but, the but their score is still going up <laughs> Do you remember Snapchat best friends when you yes. could see other people's best friends? Yo, boys were on Have the they got ropes. rid of that? Boys were on the ropes. Yeah. They oh got rid my of that. God, bro. It was binned. It said like, yo, why is Emily93 uh, um, your, your, yeah, your best yeah, yeah, friend? Yeah, yeah. And it, it would just bait everybody out. Also, another one that was bait, the, remember the Instagram feature where you would click the search, but you could switch it over and it would show you what everyone was liking or following? Really? Don't you remember? Oh, wait, that? on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but they got rid that, of that. That was, yeah, that was too bad. The activity page, that, it was called. That was it. That, mate, that was wild. Right. It was done. I can remember when they made the update and they got rid of it. And Twitter, all the boys were like, this is a great day for a human being. <laughs> this is it. The because boys before, are, before, the before boys back. If, if, if a fella went on a bit of a liking suite and just like bare chicks, instas, it would come up on the, uh, on the activity page. It would be like, uh, Josh Chip has liked. And then it was just all bikini girl pictures. And it, oh, it was so. That would not big. personally be me, but. Yeah, no, I do remember a couple of the boys. I see a couple of the boys doing that. You got there. something hanging out your nostril, but it's, 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 it's a bit of fabric. It's not snot. Oh, you're just blowing it out. It's gone now. But it been sniffing carpets. You've <laughs> Carpet been sniffing world. carpets. <laughs> Carpet world. <laughs> Carpet world. <laughs> How is that Carpet world and DFS and no spot still oh, in business, mate, bro? It's mate, a piss take. Because they run a good sale, lad. They run a good sale. Always. Okay, guess it's what? Never yeah. in his sale. Yo, yo, this is nuts. You know the DFS sale, right? You know how it's oh, like there's constantly a sale? Supposedly, DFS stands for Discounted Furniture Store. What? So, what? so that's why there's a constant sale is because it's discounted. Wait. Is that is that true, by the way? Can we get a fact no. check on that? Because I swear someone commented this because I always you said- You just blew my cock off. <laughs> <laughs> like, like- <laughs> Like, I mean, like, you blew, you didn't blow me. I blow your socks off. No, definitely no, blew definitely my cock off. off. <laughs> Can we get a bad check? Oh, oh, it's Cap. It's Cap. It's Cap. It's Cap. Alex Cal has Cap. been fooled by, um, you know, only <laughs> King's YouTube TV comment. Instagram page or something. <laughs> what, what, what does it mean? What's DFS stand for? Direct furnishing supplies. Oh, direct furnishing direct, supplies. Oh, that's a bit of stinker. That's a stinker. Oh my god, I've been rumbled there. I actually thought it was discounted furniture store. That's oh. not bad, that like. Well, my cock's back on now. <laughs> <laughs> Firmly on. Firmly on. Oh, by the way, here, uh, I'd like to put, uh, here, I've actually got a big one. We got another fraud watch uh, applicant. Right. PC World. <laughs> what? <laughs> PC World is on Fraud Watch. And you know what? I'll be totally I have done a you. PC World brand deal here. So. Oh, have you actually? Not, not right now. It was ages ago. So we're probably good to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But listen up here. Yeah. PC World is on Fraud Watch. Let me tell you how these motherfuckers are still alive is by preying on old people that don't know how to turn on their PC, right? Old people yeah. will, will like their, their PC will be popping up with like some, you know, something that shouldn't be happening or their mouse isn't connecting. Yeah. yeah? They'll, they'll, They'll take their entire PC in the back of the boot. They'll put it in the car. <laughs> they'll drive it to PC World. They'll put it on the desk. And what's happened is maybe they just need a new mouse. Their mouse battery had died, yeah? PC World will say, yeah, you, you lot need a whole new PC, right? <laughs> and the old person goes, yeah, so I bought about- it two years ago. It probably is out of date or whatever. And these all are just finessing old people repairing it. The shit in their store is so overpriced. If you, you can get the same thing half price on Amazon, these are the biggest finesses I've ever seen. Well, personally, PC World, I think, are very, very great. Okay, but your your PC World used to be just PC World, right? Yeah. But there was Curry's as well. And one of the other has bought... Curry's bought PC World. Yeah, yeah. so now it's PC World Curry's. Yeah, yeah, it's what? like half and half. Like, what, what is going on I guess on here? it was just... It's not a law firm, is it? Like, you know, <laughs> you don't go airy chip fucking it's a collab. Alex. It's a collab. Yeah, they've collabed it up. But to be fair, I do go to my PC World store here and there. No, you don't. Yes, I do because PC World is Curry's now, which means if you ever want to look at a TV, boom, you go. I've 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 been into Curry's, but ultimately, I go there for the TVs. The TVs are okay. TVs, I would slightly understand because you can actually see it in person and you can look at it. But just go like John Lewis, bro. They give you that lifetime warranty as well. I mean, look, John Lewis. Maybe you need to show me a little bag here. But look, I would be going. I bought a TV in John Lewis once on a first date. (laughs) Oh, no. <laughs> no. 
know why I'm fucking dead. <laughs> We've got his no, first date. To, to we've, met, we've met in Westfield. We've done. Is whatever. it a Tinder date? What is this? It was a Tinder date. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, we've met in Westfield. All this stuff. We've gone out a couple of drinks. Blah, blah, blah. I did tell her beforehand. I was like, I'm. Go- I've just moved into a new flat. So I was like, I do want to get a new TV. So yeah. I might look at TVs. <laughs> Wait. So you've gone on a first date to Westfield, first of all. Well, no. I think it was just agreed that we'd just meet in Westfield. Okay. Like, okay. It, was, it wasn't really like <laughs> okay. a first date of sorts. It was just like we'll meet up. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um. And then, for some reason, it's actually happened. I've gone in John Lewis, and I've been like, oh, I like this TV. <laughs> what do I'm you going, think of this TV, and, sweetheart? And she's gone, there's a nice TV. <laughs> and I've been like, all right, let's I'm going to buy you, it. Low-key, though, is it like a bit of a flex? Was it quite a spenny TV? No, it wasn't even really that spenny, I don't think. We're probably talking like 700 quid. It wasn't that bad. Bro, you can but get I think TVs back, for like I think, I think back then, because like, this was probably like five years ago, yeah. this was probably a reasonably spenny TV to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now... You could drop a bit more on more on a TV. No, but I wouldn't dare having a TV that cheap. <laughs> That's <laughs> outrageous. Kidding, By the way, kidding, you can I'm get kidding. banging TVs I'm for like four hundred quid. No, absolutely. You know, TV prices are dropping madly now. <laughs> I was I was in prices. fucking Harrods yesterday, and they're selling eight K TVs now. 8K? Yeah, so me and you've probably got 4K, right? Bro, my eyes don't even see 8K. I swear. I was looking at this TV, and I was thinking to myself, "Fuck me, my." My vision ain't this good, so how am I seeing this look this good? Yeah. Couldn't believe it, but wow. I know what they've done. They've whacked up the fucking vibrance on Premiere Pro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? I heard they do actually do that. I think they do. Saturation, mess around with the sharpening, yeah. you know, all that stuff. Because there's no way that fucking shit looks that good when I whack on Netflix. Mate, Big mouth at home. No. And you know what? I swear, Toby, yeah, I swear to God, he got like a seven grand TV. It's nuts. I could never bring myself to spend that money on a TV. Mate, these seven grand TVs half the time are fucking horse shit. Yeah. You, because people buy TVs without realizing, looking at the proper features, right? Yeah. When I when a new Xbox and PlayStation came out, I was like, right, I want to get a best TV. So this looks for, sick. This looks sick, yeah. but it also responds. So you know about big You've TV. You've got a wham TV. Your TV is actually But dope. you know about big TV lag, right? Yeah. So when you play on a big TV and you move your controller, yeah. it takes about a second to register because oh, okay, of like, yeah, the, you yeah, know, yeah. the delay time. Big TVs have that. So I went out and I found the exact TV for a good price. How much is spend on your TV? 2.6K. So That's I know you're all thinking that it's spenny, but it was 65 inch. Yeah. No delay time. It plays like a monitor almost. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Really good picture quality. Everything. It's just a very and good And ultimately, like, you, you watch a lot. You, you sit at home, you watch a lot of football, and, and you're fucking rich. 100%. And you know, I've made some decent money <laughs> in my time. I've made some decent money in my time. If you made some decent money, what are you going to yeah, do? You're going to buy yourself, a good TV. Bro. And Come I live on. alone. So if there's yeah. one thing I need, was a good TV. TV. Yeah, you know? fair enough. But yeah. I How think, are we talking yeah, about uh, I made, TV? I swear <laughs> this podcast just. You know what, guys? So I love let's it. be honest with you. Alex BTS Arts, he's 6'7. He does a good job. To bless him, you know. He's sat there. He's looking so cute right now. Yeah, he does look good. Um, in a friendly way. <laughs> yeah, anyways, go on. T- give him his anyway, compliment. Um, so he does come up with a list of, of all topics. Like, topics to do beforehand. And he sends it in the group chat. And, you, yeah. know, you know, he's proud of his list. Yeah, it's, it's a good list. And it's I'll got some good topics you. on I'll there. be honest with you. I don't think we've read a single thing off the list today. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking swear we haven't. No, but we usually don't. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's, I'm going right, to read, I'm gonna read some off his list right now. I think okay. I've got some for you. Okay. Okay. I think I've got, I think I got some for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Someone yeah, yeah. left their brother to look after their parrot for a week. Picked him up after a week and the parrot <laughs> makes sexual moaning noises <laughs> constantly, but didn't before. The brother in question isn't in a relationship. What's wait, going on? wait, wait, Alex, what? There's some t- wait. Yeah, no, he's no, yeah, no. So he's left a parrot so someone Yeah, yeah, no, no. So he's I left it. It, he's left a parrot with his brother. Yeah. Okay, and after a week, he's picked the parrot up, parrot up, and, and then and when he picks the parrot up, the parrot is just making sexual morning noises, yeah, all the time, and he'd never used to, and now, well, it's and, and, the, and the brother noises. he left him with doesn't make sexual yeah, noises, yeah, yeah, so so that means he's been doing the fucking thing where he lies on the bathroom floor, the shower floor that we spoke about last time. Oh, by the way, we saw loads of comments backing you on that. By the way, so Chip, uh, just a quick recap, says that he whacks it off in a sat down in a shower, yeah, or just um, lying down in the bed, yeah. And everyone was just backing it. Everyone's like, yeah, Chip, don't worry, you're not alone. Uh, but no, this parrot thing. So essentially, the thing is, it's not actually that. No- What's funny is that his brother's been exposed for porking through the parrot imitating the sex noises. Because no, parrots he imitate noises that he hears. He ain't porking, lad. He doesn't he have is a sexual porking. partner. 
No, he's saying he's not in a relationship, so he's just porking random birds, bro. No, I think he's just wanking and making noises. <laughs> that is so much You ever worse. tried that? No, bro, I, there's no way I'm making noises. I, bro, bro any- just to gas yourself up, like a little moan, like. Well, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you're leaning against the wall. He's gonna, yeah. No way. Are you actually making noises? Never. Nah. No, I, I, when I when I pork, I'm a little. Uh, do you, is that what you do? A little. Uh, yeah, like, you know, when you start a car up yeah. and you're in first gear and you put the pedal down just a tiny bit, it goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a little fucking chihuahua <laughs> in, in a girl's ear. And then when you're not, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like a little master. All right, seriously, fella. though, seriously, there, uh, girls have said an, a real ick is a guy um, that is like is too vocal in bed. We've yeah. spoken about this, I'm pretty sure, in a previous podcast, but we will just revisit it because a lot of the time as well, girls say that it's really weird when a guy makes no noise, right? So... It's it, you got to find that balance of making enough noise to let them know that it, it, it's going well, but also not a, oh, yeah, yeah, I really like this. Yeah, oh, no, God, no, God, no, God, no, God, no, God, no. What are your thoughts on, as you're porking a bird, propping a book on the side? Putting a book on the side? Yeah. And just making sure you're, you know, reading your next chapter. Oh, wait, reading as you pork? Yeah. No, I, that's a that's a yellow card. I'm pretty sure if the girl found out, she's elbow dropping. That's not me, by the way. I just saw it on Reddit, and I was just really? thinking to myself, like, how how? Because when you're going, like, yeah. you're moving. You ever picked up the phone while you had sex? Be honest. No, I have uh, have banged while someone else was in the room, friend of ours as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, 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 he might be yeah. coming on the podcast soon. There you go. So we'll talk about it then. Okay. We'll I like that. That's funny. Do you know what? We got a similar story then, but we will bring that person on the podcast and we can discuss that story yep. with them. Um, it's not the same fucking person, is it? It, it might be. I don't, I don't even want to say it. I don't want to say that? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we will bring that story up because that's a, that's a funny one. Um, but in terms of picking up the phone, what would you do? Okay. How about this? How about this? Okay. Yeah? Talk so, uh, you're porking a bird, right? Yeah. And then she picks is it her, her a little notification goes off on the corner. Yeah, her, her bed's on the uh, her phone's on the bed or like on the bedside table. And she sees it, pops up, the light goes up. She's got a text from from one of her friends. Yeah, she reaches over and she replies. Yeah, mid beat. What are you saying? Tell me, say hi. Re- Wait, so you're coming? Do, do you not think that she's bored? Mate, if she does that, she's bored. Absolutely. Let me tell you, you're hitting it so Absolutely. wrong yeah, if de- that's happening. She's defo bored if that happens. So bored. Because if you're actually enjoying it, you won't really be thinking mate, about it. You're not, you're not, you're not yeah. asked about your, your notification going off on your phone. 100%. Well, if, if that's me, I'm just stopping. I'll say, do you know what? Like, is, is, I'll, this ain't it. This I'll ain't, be honest. Ain't it. There's been times where I've got a very good film on in the background. And when a next mad scene oh comes up, yeah. I will take a pause. You take a pause and no, I'll just keep, I, I, I keep it moving. But at the same time, just know, I know my entire focus is on the movie. Trust me. So, okay. Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing a scene where he starts touching all the bullets in slow-mo. You have just to watch Just know that. that I'm going in slow-mo to watch. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're in sync with the bullets. Yeah. No, 100%. I'm, I'm going there with a couple. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Matrix sex. No, I th- do you know what? I think in a, in a movie, it, it's it, it, it's okay to, but just in your head, I wouldn't I wouldn't let the girl know. I think that she'd be absolutely fucking livid if uh, she found out that you were more interested in the in the storyline. I think if movie. she was a girl of culture, Although, she'd know how good the Matrix. Tr- to be fair, if it was the Matrix, not yeah. the trilogy, the first film. Oh, only the first film. You not, watched you watched Matrix? Yeah, 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 I watched. Have that you, one, yeah. There's a fourth one coming out. Keanu Reeves. They're gonna ruin again. it. They're gonna ruin it. They're well, the second, the third film and second film weren't very good anyway. <laughs> They're gonna ruin it. But, Absolutely. And it's the same Donnie's that made those films. They're like twins, I think. What well, the directors? Either that or the brothers. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, cinema. Uh, cinemas are back open. We got a lot of movie fans on this podcast. What are you gonna go watch? You nothing, haven't been yet, man. have you? Fucking what about a Quiet Place? Quiet, part play, two? Quiet Place is the only one that I'd watch. But I, I here, like this is this you is my. You normally don't like horror. Here we go. The, uh, another topic that Alex put on the thing was an unpopular opinion. So uh, it's just a hot th- take, right? I know what you're about to say. Yeah. So um, we, throughout this podcast, we both have to give at least one unpopular opinion. Okay. Mine is coming right now. Um, and and here it is. Horror movies. Every single horror movie is fucking shit. Okay. I, and and I and I. And Alex, wait, let me explain why. Because it, BTS Alex has just given me the thumbs up and the- That's, uh, he's not, just that's normally me. not a good thing to no, have no, no, but I, I, I agree with you. <laughs> do, do you know what? Uh, BTS Alex has, has his moments where, where he is spot on and it, once it, that has happened just now. Because let me tell you why horror movies are complete trash. The plot, mm-hmm. okay, is always the same thing. And, and 
when I say the same thing, it's so predictable. Mm -hmm. the, that's my biggest issue with horror movies. It's so predictable. I have like the jump scares, all that. Like that's fine. I can appreciate that. I think that you know, there's a, there's probably an art to making a movie scary. But for the most part, the actual plot ends up being just so outrageous, and then it's just so predictable as well that I'm there like, this just wouldn't happen. Or a character does something, and you're there just like. Why have you done that? That just that's just it not what you would do in that true. situation. The second thing is that it's just everyone always says, oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, I agree with you, Cal, but trust me, this one conjuring or this one um may people always giving me a new one and they say this one's yeah. different trust me the plot is actually good and every time i get suckered in and i watch it and i and go it's, the horse shit. it's horse it's just as shit as the last okay, one okay well, i'll tell you what guys if you're watching and listening to this right now some of you will disagree with cal you need to come with a film right now in the comments that will change cal's mind he's Mate, probably seen please the, he's, don't please he is don't probably it's gonna be seen, wrong he has probably seen the mainstream ones have you ever watched i think it's called lights out no it's about um people i think if i've got the right one might have got the wrong name here sorry if i have but they get stuck in a house of a blind man yeah and th that was a good one that i enjoyed that i, I thought was that i thought crouching. was a little bit di different you didn't like conjuring two the one that's set in london Enfield. it doesn't make they're all crap wow. chip. they're all crap. i thought you would like that one i promise you and i love look i love movies but, but i do agree the horror with you. genre i do is agree with you for the dog. most part for the most dog. part they're all very predictable so but some predictable. of them are just like i love a little you know i love a little horror man now a quiet place a quiet place <laughs> i'm gonna go and watch it I, I'll be to honest, be fair you just because you don't like so you don't like horrors and no. you also don't like marvel films you don't like you don't no. like a lot of no. films no no do you want to know why i don't like the marvel films yeah is because again they're so predictable. It's the yeah. same storyline every time. It's the same thing. Is it, 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 uh, a guy going going through the going through a struggle or it's going well? So, uh, you know, this big Donnie's trying to take over the world or he's doing something really big, trying to and, and then it's about catching that bad guy. They always end up getting the bad guy or at least you know disarming him until the next uh, the next one where he like comes back to life or whatever. And I'm just bored of this it's the same like if you drew a graph of how these movies went it's the exact same thing and i'm you know I'm what done, you got bro. you know what a good point there but to be fair let's be honest there has been so many films that it's really hard to come up with an original concept oh, especially absolutely. especially for a superhero film with a main target audience to sell and make money is yeah. kids yeah no i get so that. i would love to genuinely see an avengers avengers film or a marvel film where you know, a lot of people fucking die and the the bad guy does win. I know Infinity War did it, but I was going to say, I'm trying to say, but it doesn't just because we knew, OK, all happened in Infinity War, but we knew people were going to come back. Yeah. And then he would end up dying in the yeah. next. I just want to see one. I just want to see the Serious bad guy win. Serious spoiler alert. But if you haven't watched win this stuff by oh, now, then you're watched Infinity War and then by now, then that is really anyways. your fault. Beer 52 are oh, back and Lord. let me to, oh my, and, and let me tell you right now the weather is immaculate and there is nothing better than a beer. Oh my god. As soon as this podcast done by the way, we're heading straight to the rooftop. Straight to the roof. We're getting on the beers. Yeah, and uh, we'll actually so. we've got a crate of beer 52 beers in the back there. We're yeah. taking those we'll be upstairs. Taking them with us. We'll be smuggling them in. Yeah, well, you're still. not supposed to take them upstairs, but you know what? I'll, I'll put one down my, my When it's beer 52, the risk is worth it. Oh, mate, what, what you are unbelievable. Did I just it? come up with their new slogan? What, what, what is their new not. slogan? When it's beer 52, the risk is worth it. Oh, wow, that's phenomenal. Wow, Chip, uh, uh, beer 52, we're going to we're gonna unfortunately need to raise our prices once again yeah. because we just continuously... I, I, that's a trademark slogan, by the way, so you got to contact me. Yeah, seriously, like you you guys are really starting to take the piss. And also, beer 52, Um, if if you guys want to work on maybe like a collab beer, oh, that could hit different, you know. Beer 52 X The Fellas. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. All right, anyways, guys, if uh, you are interested in eight craft beers from beer 52, then you can go over to beer 52 com forward slash the fellas and all you have to do is cover the postage cost which That's is five pound 95 so beautiful. what are you getting chip you're getting eight beers eight beers for, for 5.95 that's oh, it my Lord. so beer 52 is like a member thing you sign up but look if you want to sign up you get your eight craft beers and then you go oh did you know what? i don't actually want to be a member or whatever mate just cancel no the problem. membership cancel you still that. got your eight craft mm -hmm. beers for five pound 95 yep. what a bargain but the chances are you'll want to stay signed you up. will when you swim you've tried that beer 52 Oof. beer <laughs> 
Not only that, but in the back, as always, we guys say it every time we, we talk about Beer 52, me and Chip go for the light beers. Mm -hmm. But if you are more of a dark beer type of person, yep. then feel free. You can just select that option when you're when you're securing Absolutely. the beer. Um, not only that, but it comes with a magazine and snack. Uh, so feel free to, uh, to secure that as well. And like we said, guys, you can pause or cancel at any time lovely Fantastic. if that does interest you then it's beer52.com forward slash the fellas all you do is pay the postage which is five pound 95 to get your eight craft beers enjoy beautiful but, but yeah so my like my favorite movies are all ones that really make you think about how this is gonna end and it always throws a curveball at you yeah um what is oh, gone girl unbelievable oh yeah Gongo has got Ben Unbe Affleck right mate yeah. fantastic film. movie uh, there's, it, the genre is called a psychological thriller that is a very and good that film. particular genre is my bread and butter I love it I love things that make me think could it be in this guy could it be in that guy why is it this or one that just I'm following along and then all of a sudden there's a fat curveball and I go holy shit I have just been completely bamboozled those movies those, right there those films that have, I agree with you I agree unbelievable with you. banger film you know uh, so Interstellar. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the ending of Interstellar. I'm there like well, this is incredible. Like this is what I'm here for. Films this that is are so I'm good going. they you can't make a sequel because yeah because you completely ruin it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mate, there's no Gone Girl Shutter 2. Shutter Island is another good one. Shutter watch, Island yeah. is incredible. Really and to good. this day, I, like, I'd love to do a thing. Uh, what we'll say right now is everyone go and watch Shutter Island because on the next podcast I want to discuss the ending. So everybody because after this. Because it's a controversial ending, isn't very, it? People, and I've got yeah. a lot of questions and I've done a lot of research into the movie and I want to chat about it. So Shutter Island, guys, go very and watch that if you haven't already. It's, a, it's an absolute popper. Anyways, we've done movie chat. Mm -hmm. um, that was a serious little slurp you had there, lad. Give it another one. I would say, I would say <sighs> that noise mixed in with people eating with their mouth open are two of the most disgusting things now you see when do. i hear this drink noise yeah. it makes me want a drink right people eating with the mouth open that's just disgusting you know you, you ever been on a date uh chick eating with the mouth open no i don't think i have i, have. I don't think I, you have yeah i have i i, I just I, I, you, usually, oh, I, you know usually after dinner you go oh let's go for some Tell drinks and see where the night worst, leads us worst ever date don't have to name drop and you can make no. it Okay. You, no. No, 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 no. 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 I say I'll, I'll talk about it. But it, what I'm trying to say is I don't actually have a terrible. Like I don't have the nightmare date. I've genuinely, no, honestly, I. The, Not, it's nothing too crazy. What I had uh, one uh, particular date that stands out in my mind. Went out for dinner. Um, she was she was sort of like eating with her mouth open. But the worst part was was. Uh, her manners towards the uh, staff oh, no. and it really put me off Nothing there was worse. no please there was no thank yous and just in general it just I just got you know we just get bad vibes from yeah. someone with the way she was chatting to people and even just like chatting about people I was there like I can't wait for this dinner to be over. Yeah. I'm I'm heading home, and yeah, you know, like the classic excuse. I got film in early doors, so you're gonna have to. There's nothing worse than someone that is rude to like oh, your bartenders. Oh, I you know, hate people like that. Restaurant like, staff, oh, like it's just have some respect. Like they're man. better than them. Like oh, it's just like fuck me. They're doing a job. Yeah, like literally just they're like doing. Do a, they're getting, and look, it, you know, sometimes you you do get a bad waiter, you get bad service or whatever, but just don't be a don't be a dick. Like who cares? Like who cares, you know? Like I, I look, yeah. I now it's funny because we've got quite a few friends that would never complain, and I will, I will complain at a place if I think something has been poor, or you know, they've they've uh, they've done me over, uh, or you know, if, if my food's not right, I'll uh -huh. say like, look, I asked for a, like a medium rare steak. This is like almost well done. Like I, I have no problem saying that, but like I'll do, I'll do it in a very polite way. Mm -hmm. I'm not there like this is bang out of order. Blah 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 blah. The other day I was at a bar. It took. Oh wait, you were there as well. I was really, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, we're not going to name this place. Uh, it's a popular place in London, a chain, and we waited over an hour for drinks, right? And I went down around like the 40 minute mark, it was and cold. I said, guys, like, where's this drink? We waited 40 minutes, and the guy was insisting. He's like, it's coming. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Anyways, I go back upstairs still nothing an hour later i came down and, and i'll admit like i was literally there like guys you guys are really like this is this is terrible like, i was literally like this is really bad and the guy behind the bartender tried to almost uh, like he, he went uh sorry uh well he didn't even say sorry he said look around it's, or he said it's been really busy tonight uh it, like it's slow and i look around me the place is at 50 percent capacity it's not big and i get look and if he oh. was being overworked it, 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 if they didn't have enough uh bar staff or whatever that's completely fine but i remember seeing there was not that many people but we didn't even get like like they didn't even go oh we're really sorry about this um you know 
or here's a couple of free drinks or whatever it is. They didn't even try and make it up. They were just kept telling us it's coming, it's coming. That was the annoying bit. That was the annoying bit. I'm like, oh, bro, it's been an hour since we ordered yeah. drinks. Maybe they were understaffed possibly, but they should have just said. Doesn't take an yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah, doesn't, just say, look, do, doesn't take over an hour to pull some parts. Or, or we got it completely wrong. That's our bads. Yeah. You know, just say something. And he said, it. I, I feel like such a dick having to go up to because I don't want to have to go up to you and be, be annoyed. Yeah. But ultimately we had like, you know, a, a group of six waiting upstairs waiting for an hour. An hour for some drinks. Oh, yeah, I was bad. fuming. And, I mean, and, and it's it not food, cheap. It's fair. not cheap. The the, uh, the That particular came to like 160 quid worth of well, drinks. Well, the thing and was, was like, as well, like we ordered and then the bar closed because it took so long. We couldn't get our next up. So we only yeah. got to have one, one drink. So, so we turned, we had a drink. Alien. Yeah, it was not. Like what? No anyway, idea. so. But it happens. But anyway, sorry. That was my, that was my, that was my worst date was, um was just someone being really rude and just unnecessary. It was just unnecessary. There, there was nothing wrong with the service. There was nothing wrong with the food. They just had no manners. I've what had about one, you, Chip? I've had one where she kept going on about Rose Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Yep. She just she just kept talk, yeah she just kept talking about Harry. Oh, it's just like oh, <laughs> wait man. you you had you, wait we're going I need a little story time here, bro. You drop you just dropped that like it was nothing. Yeah, she just talk kept talking me. about. It. She's like, what's Harry like? Oh, this, like all this kind of shit. And I'm what's like, Harry like? That was Harry like. I'm on this date with this guy, and she's just like. So you're, you're friends with, I know obviously you're friends with YouTubers, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, yeah of course. I said, well, what's Harry like? And I'm like, well, he's well, a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> you know, he's, he's great, he's my friend. And she's like, so what's it like being friends with him? I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, what the hell? And I'm just thinking to myself, I don't know what's it like friends, being friends with your friends. Like, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite the normal experience. Yeah. But she just, and then it got about normal again. I was like, okay, I'll let, you know, she's probably just curious because yeah, yeah, such yeah. a he's big, she's probably a fan a little yeah, bit, yeah, whatever. Yeah. A couple of 30 minutes before, passed by, <laughs> straight back onto it. I got a friend that went on a date with Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, please, like, I I just don't, I, you know, I don't care. Yeah, 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 like, please just please, stop. Just stop, let's just, let's talk about fucking anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, What's your yeah. favorite flower? Yeah, fucking yeah. anything's better Jesus than you Christ, talking about yeah. my favorite, mate. Your favorite type of fucking wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, like yeah. oak? You like mahogany? <laughs> no, she wants to talk straight rota shaw. That's her favorite type of wood. And so, what? What was? What were you saying? Were you just there, like? I was just thinking to myself, why? Man? I kept, you were there, like. So what happened? You did it, and you just cut. You why, man? No, 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 no. Chip, <laughs> <laughs> you talk. <laughs> <laughs> you talk. Listen, Bella. Look, it Listen, is what it I is. took a sacrifice. Yeah. That is so funny. I did man. it for all the boys. That I? is that is so funny, man. Fucking hell. I, I couldn't imagine Harry. that. Imagine going a day and then they decide. So, what's your best friend like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's what like? What, what's that? Tell what's me all about. Tell me all about. You know this. Oh I'm just sat God. there thinking, why? why? I need more subs, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, you just I need more drinks. Yeah, I need more drinks. That I, need, is... I need a mill on Instagram. She's obviously not happy with us. You got a verified tick on Insta? I do. But to be fair, my Instagram's not bad. It's the only like it's a platform of mine that I don't have a problem growing with because I use it the most. Yeah, I like I like Instagram. Don't the thing is, Twitter. I don't I don't get like. Does anyone else? It's weird because you know it should it's like it's, like, it's my job isn't it i need to be posting on instagram every, all the time they're like that. i don't see instagram don't like that. that i never think oh i haven't posted in a week i need to post a picture like if you look at my like i'll i'll post i won't i won't post a picture on there for like a month and then i'll have like three days where i post them back to back to back yeah, me and you're the same my, my last post was volleyball <laughs> Yeah, um, it's just ages ago. But you know, I I've heard that it like j uh, I'm gonna say that this is gonna sound weird, but like normal people, people that aren't their job isn't got anything to do with social media, they're thinking I haven't posted in a week. I need to post on Instagram. Really? And they say like, why? No, why do you need to post on Instagram? I, I don't have anything to post. And every time I look at a picture, I'm like, I look too clapped there for Instagram, so I never post it. Yeah. Crazy. I never, and it, it's just weird to me that people are thinking that, that have not, no, their job is not social media, nothing, but they're thinking, oh, it's been a while since I posted on Instagram. I should do this. Like, why? Why do you need to post on Instagram? Yeah, there's no what, fucking reason. What's going on? Gotta keep their engagement up. You gotta keep, <laughs> keep their. I mean, if your job was like, you know, doing like these, you know, small micro fucking influencer brands, then oh, I've fair heard enough, about these. Yeah. It's like people that maybe get paid like, you know, 100 quid for a post or they'll get paid in products and stuff. So <sighs> they'll keep it up because they don't want to. Lose that. And I mean, if you just started, to be fair, like just so imagine you've got a normal job or, yeah. you know, you've got a job that is outside social media, like we said. Yeah. You know, I'm working a nine to five chip. Yeah, you're working a nine to five. Okay. You you know, it could be a Tesco. It could be a fucking bank. It could yeah. be a corporate okay. job, anything. So 
and then you got the opportunity to maybe post on Instagram uh, twice a week and get hundred pound per post. You're gonna do it, right? Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, and you and so you're like, wow, I'm making an extra two hundred quid a week. I'm making an extra eight hundred pound a month. I don't, that is and really I good. I guess in their minds they're like, oh, I don't want my engagement to go down. I if I'm getting five hundred to a thousand likes or whatever. Yeah. If I got how much? You, how, okay, be, how much? How how many likes do you reckon you need to to be be paid for your? For I your think Instagram maybe post? thousand plus, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, because I've heard about this term like micro influencers, yeah. and it sounds really weird and like it just it, it sounds is like micro influencer. Anyone less than anyone, maybe like around fifty k. Like anything less 50 than fifty k is that about right? No, I think I think maybe micro maybe might less. be like fifty to a hundred. No, bro, no. I think lot, I think like it, there are people with like 10k followers getting paid for posts. Really? I'm not even messing yeah, with you. Yeah, well, to be fair, if they've got less, good, less yeah, than that. if they've got a good engagement and get good impressions, then it makes sense. For Alex them. is saying that um, there's people with 2k followers getting paid really? for posts. Really? But I guess it would depend well, on your impressions. Oh, uh, so they get paid in product and stuff, which is always a bit of a finesse, by the way. Be careful but, with but, that. But guys. like, obviously, if you've got less than two k followers and getting paid in products, you like, you're probably more than happy with that. Yeah, because it's not your job. You've got your own job. Yeah. All this is is you've gone and taken a picture. Side and hustle. Free, free, free products for it. Yeah, no. Especially it's true. if it's like makeup and you love a bit of makeup or you know fucking free pair of trainers. Yeah. Like chilling, right? Yeah, it's true. It's true. But it's, we, it's interesting. Well, the, the whole Instagram as you, as world you grow, is nuts. You'll swap from free products to money. Right, right, right. You're getting a phone call here, Chip. Getting a phone call. Do you, do you want to pick it up and put it on speaker? We can always cut it out. Although, it's, no, wait, that's going to be a company. It is a company. It's all too well. Yeah, it's not as Yeah, fun. we're not going to pick that up, guys, because okay. you never know. Probably oh, PPI. Might be Vitality Health. Oh, go on, pick it up then. It could be PPI. Speaker. Hello? Oh, they've all got put <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> These bastards! You, oh, you, you've been mugged off there royally. Right, right off. Um, so do you funny. ever do this? So when I get a call like that, I will copy the number right there. Put it into like Google, an, like an old two old number. Yeah. I go straight into Google. I'll paste and search. This is Let's great. have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Fraud services. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, nothing actually coming up at all. If you actually look. Yeah, don't answer. London yeah. pharmacy. Pharmacy. What have you been getting from pharmacy? It's a pharmacy, bro. It's probably more Viagra, lad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sir. Uh, we noticed you haven't ordered in two weeks. Uh, you're gonna need a top up. Answered. They were like, "We're just checking if you need a Viagra <laughs> subscription <laughs> renewed." <laughs> oh, say what? Uh, yeah, we're gonna double up the dosage this <laughs> yeah, month. Yeah, baby, get a maximum. Give me that damn Bilzerian shit. By the way, you gotta talk to me about this, yeah? Like, I, sh I okay. So in my head, yeah, Viagra is something for old men that can't get it. Yeah, up. I'll tell talk you what. Here you go. I ain't used it, and maybe. Maybe a month or two now. You make it sound, it sound like that's some mad. No, feat. because uh, were you banging uh, it like, before that? I was. I wasn't banging it, but I would use it every time I was drunk. Because obviously, I know I can speak for you know. I know you don't get this, but I speak for a, a lot, lot of the boys at home. Will get this and whiskey dick. So when I'm drunk, my dick will just not work. In fact, and if it does work. I'll be going at it and it will literally stop working whilst I'm going at it. Nothing just like mid, mid going at it. And you're there like, and what I'm, the fuck? And you're just sat there and you're just like, nah. It got to the point where when I was drunk, I was like, if I don't have Viagra, I'm not going to bother sleeping with this girl. Really? Because I know that it's going to go, it's just not going to work Kills halfway through. And vibe. it's just going to kill her vibe, my vibe. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm sorry. Get yeah. whiskey dick. It happens to, I think, quite a lot of the boys. A couple, nope, couple of our boys thing. get it as yeah, well. It's, you, it's a you big don't, thing. You don't get it. I don't it, get that though. I wish I didn't get it. It's amazing to bro, not get it. Bro, after a few beverages, I swear to God, bro, I'm full steam ahead, well, 100 miles an hour. You know, hour. like Dan Bilzerian, right? He loves the Viagra. And didn't he have a heart attack for- He had a stroke. Was it? I thought or it was a heart, heart attack. attack. I think it was yeah, 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 a heart attack. Too. Not, yeah. Wasn't it because something to do with Viagra? Or if I got that wrong. No, it I was. I think it was. So there was a few other things that he was he was putting up. Is yeah, knows. maybe a couple of other substances involved with Viagra. But what I think what happened was he misread the dosage, right? Oh. So it was one where it's like, oh, take like, I, okay, this is complete fabricated numbers here. But if I remember his story correctly, it's something along the lines of like, you're supposed to take 10 milligrams. Um, and he, he, or like, and he had taken a hundred, but it's because he misread the dosage, like wow. something like that. And he was saying he literally had like two heart attacks while he was... He had to go to hospital and it's just all all mad. You so, know like, what as well? Um, obviously, Dan Bilzerian would be an amazing guest because he's just got fucking sh mad stories to talk about. But did you ever watch a Dan Bilzerian True Geordie podcast? Yes. And you know True Geordie, when you watch him, he's huge. 
a true alpha, right? Yeah, he's a unit. Right? Yeah, he's a a unit. unit. You'd yeah, always, yeah. You, it's a guy that when you're around, you respect. You yeah. crack a joke. Well, he's done a lot of things that you have to respect. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, he's a guy that you would respect when you're around. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, when I watched that Dan Bilzerian podcast with him, it was just like, fuck, Dan Bilzerian, don't give two. It, it, like the, the vibe that he gives, like, he I doesn't give a fucks. shit. Even if it's true, Jordy, and you're huge, I don't give a shit. I, w- I would actually like, like, right. I've, 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 I've said to Jordy, like, look, I'd love to get you on a podcast at some point. And he that said, would be and, good. and he said, he's, he, you know, he, he'll come on uh, at some point, and that would be amazing. But I'd love to ask him particularly about that podcast. Same, I'd love to know his thoughts because on it. because uh, it's one of those things where it's like usually, uh, you know, the people that come on, like, it's there's a certain dynamic there. But I noticed that Dan Bilzerian, it was just, it was, it, there was no like respect. Yeah, as, or, no, no, sorry, there, sorry, there was respect, but not in the same way that there usually no, is when no. Jordy has Hon- a guest on. You got it bang on there. That's yeah. what I thought when I was watching. I was like, this is really strange. Yeah. Because anybody that goes on a true Jordy podcast knows that this is one of the go. Yeah, the this is a top podcast. podcast. Of all time, yeah, 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 you, know? yeah. you, it's a pleasure to be on there, right? No matter how famous you are, is you're going on a really big podcast. Yeah. People yeah, love yeah. it, and respect yeah, yeah. it. But he, it, we just you didn't get that vibe, right? Didn't get that vibe. And Maybe, not only that, but yeah. I think it's also because I, I that was done in like a hotel room, and so it was like okay, so um, Brian has was it, has, has wasn't taken Dan a podcast in breakfast or something. Yeah, and I just thought like. No, no, we would have done like if you get the opportunity to interview Dan Bazin, and at the time that that had happened, Dan Bazin was at his peak essentially, yeah. or, or as far as I, I think at the moment, his peak, right? And so you would do that naturally. You get that opportunity, you you take it. But it was just a very like. I don't know. I hear a lot of mixed things about Dan Bill's area, really? like loads of mixed things. I wonder what he'd be like with us. Would he just think these are two fucking scrawny little rats? Yeah, of course, bro. But that's just like the way that that's the way he is. And Dan Bill's area used to have a lot of fans. I reckon I, I could don't know if it's him. the same. You reckon you could out drink him? Yeah, I, th- I, I absolutely, could. absolutely. So I Dan Bill's area, if you're watching, fella, get on here. We'll have a few beverages. Yeah, and we'll see and what we'll happens. We'll get busy. Yeah, but I, 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 to be honest with you, Jim, I will I don't, I don't, you. I don't see him. Well, I don't I'm see. I don't see him coming on. His no, no. But that's fine. Maybe there'll it, be yeah. a new play. Like now, Dan Bill's Aaron isn't at, at the top of the hill anymore. Who's, Who's the, next the new Playboy? Yeah, Road to Shaw. Vic Star. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll skate your man. Oh, oh yeah. Did you just say you'll skate my man chip? Well, guess what? We've got Manscaped sponsoring today's podcast. We love to see it. Now, guess what, Chip? You'll be absolutely buzzing to know that Father's Day is just oh, around the corner. Yes. So my father needs escaping. He, I bet. Is your is your dad a hairy man? Oh, absolutely. You yeah. know I'm a hairy man. Do you know what? Nothing would really create a father son bond quite like buying your dad a pube trimmer and then doing it for him. Okay, I'm, I don't think that was in the advertisement bit. But anyways, guys, um, l- you know, make sure you say I love you, dad, by getting him a body hair trimmer. Now, you're probably wondering, guys, Completely. you know, what what is this body hair trimmer? Well, guess what? Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and just launched their performance package, which is the perfect gift for your dad this upcoming Father's oh, Day. Yes. I really hope uh, people get something for their dad. And, I, and let me know, what is his reaction? Is uh, I'm proud of you, son. And you know your dad's probably still stuck in 1950 using like a, a kitchen knife yeah, to used, do it. Yeah, I used know? to use scissors. Yeah, well, guess what? Manscape are here to save the day, and, and and you know what? The the best thing is is that it's got the technology so that you're not gonna rip your sack open yep, by uh, by using the scissors or or the kitchen knife. You never want to be using that, anyways, guys. No way. Um. So, uh, what you can do, uh, in this performance package, they've got the weed whacker, which is the ear and nose hair trimmer. Um, it's waterproof, a nine thousand RPM motor powered, three sixty degree rotary dual blade system. Yeehaw, baby! Look, guys, seventy nine percent. You Manscape are coming with statistics yes. now chip yeah here Serious we go players in this game 79 percent of partners admitted that long nose hair is a major turnoff why not hook up wait hook up with your dad no here it says why not hook your dad up with the best tools for the job here go on dad um this bundle includes the lawnmower 3.0 trimmer because of their skin safe technology this is the best trimmer on the market for your or your dad's balls butt and body all right um let's not forget their famous liquid formulations the crop preserver which is a ball deodorant and crop reviver Reviver. how many times i'm always reviving people on call of duty it's about time my balls got revived 
revived, all right? Um, not only that, but yeah, the ball reviver is a ball toner to maximize your ball hygiene routine. Yeehaw, baby. Uh, okay, so if the performance package is of interest to you, it is the best value that Manscaped has to offer. Um, and, and, and it's hot off the shelves, all right, hot Chip? Hot off the shelves, baby. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com forward slash the fellas. Get your dad a gift that you know they will use. Oh, yes. You know, your, your dad, you know, just like you, your dad needs to be taking care of the downstairs as well, man. Yep. Think of your dad. Seriously, mm -hmm. that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com forward slash the fellas what is it chip manscaped.com forward slash the fellas that was um the horn the charlie sloth horn yeah nice nice mix it up it's interesting i wonder why or 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 maybe maybe you'll know why is there an, who is the uk playboy who is the the, the, well, it used to be the womanizer. I tell you what, I, I'm going to throw you back here. I used to be a guy called Frankie Cocoso. Do you remember him? X Factor Donny. Yep. Was he actually though? No, I don't at, think he at the was, time mate. he definitely what at this at that time he really fell off quite quickly. But at that specific time when he was on X Factor, yeah, definitely he had, it was like tattooing all the girls' names that he slept with on his ass, right? What really? Don't you remember it? What was and his he, ass and, just and, covered? And, and he he signed a deal or something. Either that or he got paid for something. He got 150, 250 grand, and he just went and blew it on you know substances, gear, gear. gear. Yeah. He blew it on gear and just going I out. I heard that. Any time he'd walk into a club, it was just like bang, sleep with it, whatever girl. Really. Like. Um, but if we had to pick, if you had to pick a UK playboy, a current celebrity, who are you oh, thinking? I don't know, bro. Like, I'm is being there, serious. Let me, let's it try and think. Let's try and think. Maybe a footballer. Is there any footballers that? Are nah, foot no, but a footballer. That no, because it never is allowed to be the, said. Well, is it? Not only that, but they're a footballer. Like a playboy is someone that like, this is their job is to go to clubs, port birds, get drunk, and then like show off their lifestyle. That a footballer is not that. No, of course, but you could still be a footballer. Yeah, and you could do still that. be a like playboy. Back in the day, you know, yeah. like, you know, George Best, you loved that kind of vibe, didn't he? You loved that right, lifestyle. Right, right. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. So, if not footballer, maybe a music artist. Are there any music artists that are just <sighs> super? Who are you thinking, Alex? You got anyone? Who is UK play? Who's the UK's version of Dan Bilzerian? That's what we're trying to say. Or well, the closest thing to it. There's no. What's there the is no UK What's version. What's the closest thing we've got? in the uk it's because people in the uk don't really give a shit about clout as much yeah it's true we don't really care for that nah nah not h not nah, h nah, i think he's got a girlfriend fella i think that's nah, just nah, it, or even if he doesn't he, it, he's just a rapper yeah it's nah, just rapper. a rapper rappers always talk about that stuff in the music yeah, come on who else do. you got that was, Biz, a bad, you got? That, was a, that was a bad shout from you bts i was gonna put you on pro watch She's at, uh, we got we got, we got right the now. we got the research and trying to figure out oh, it's so interesting yeah, Anyways. I'm not sure. Off the top of my head, anyway, I can't think about that. But we'll come back to it if uh, the gents and the ladies. Would you, would you ever uh, take up the, the Playboy route? There's Probably, a niche there to be had. Probably not. I feel like in the UK, it's just, you just, it just doesn't run as well. I feel yeah. like UK doesn't stand for cringy shit as much it's as It's so does. true. No, it actually if is. If you so do so something cringy in the UK, you're, you're just, you're going to get, you're just going to get fucking roasted for it. You it's know, like, we'll allow it? you, we'll allow some leeway on certain things, but like, it's yeah. like the TikTokers from America. Um, when it well, mate, the Tony, worst thing. No, I got one for you. I think his name is Tony. Alex Tony Lopez. Something like that. This well, Donny when they is, do those dances to the UK tunes, oh mate, it gives me a chest pain. You're talking about chest the right pain. guy. He yeah. did it. He did it to Central C. Yeah. Right. He, yeah. Uh, he's quite. He's you know he's got a decent body, but he, he's like. No, sp and he also did it to RD and his verse on body. I think we're Bro, talking about the right horrendous. guy. It, when he's in the mirror in I the bathroom. I just want to get oh, it quickly bleh. up here on my phone just to double check with you if it is the right Sorry, guy. Yeah, guys. Tony Lopez. By the way, 22 million followers this guy has got. Um, okay, I'm just going to look at like look yeah. at this. Okay. This so, guy is... It... Yeah, that's him. We're going to get a copyright idea, lad. Yeah, it's just, mate, it's awful. Like, yeah. These, these US it's not great, they love to, it? They love to take... Oh, speaking of TikTok, I got there a funny is. thing for you. Oh, yes. In the state of our body. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. We'll I hate it. We'll get Alex to bring that up on screen so you guys can join in if you're only watching on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes. <sighs> I, so that, why do Americans do that with English songs? Like, don't do that. Oh, don't just, do that. Yeah, please don't do you're that. You're really ruining it. I love it when I love it when the it. I love it when the artist duets it and replies like, and they're like, like please stop. 
Right, that happened with Central C. That was, uh, that was yeah, funny. I remember seeing that. Um, that speaking was... of TikTok, I got a funny story. I went on um, my friend Josh Zerka's um, YouTube channel. We did like a TikTok reaction thing. Mm -hmm. um, and we were, wa we were watching a few, we were reacting to it. And then I was there just like, the worst TikToks seemed to go viral. And then I was like, oh my God, Ethan did a TikTok the other day yeah. where he put it in front of, uh, he filmed himself drinking a drink and he said, please get me to a million followers. Like that, and he was just yeah. drinking a drink. Right? I've seen your one of this. Yeah, yeah, wait, he, he, he done that. And I was there and I was there like, this this is hot, hot trash. And, and Ethan knows it's hot trash. He's just doing it for, 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 for banter. Yeah, whatever. And I was like, this is genuine hot trash. Like, there's no way this works. Yeah. Come back the next day. Oh, oh, it worked, and and he ended up on a million. And so while I'm reacting to Josh, I said, "Look, if I do something like that, I'll lose followers, right? Like okay. he, he gained he gained like 200k followers eh? off this TikTok. Yeah, because he said get me to a million followers. That was the TikTok, right? Well, I try this. And so and so I've gone. I'm there like Josh. I'll prove to you right now that if I do it, I'll lose followers, right? So I've stuck up a TikTok of a TikTok of me drinking a drink. I come back in 20 minutes. I've lost 5,000 followers, shit. <laughs> I've lost 5,000 fucking followers. I swear followers. you have like 900,000 followers on TikTok. Bro, I've got like 850K and I, and I said, get me to a million, 845K. <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to do, guys? Like, what is that? That, that, that app just gives me uh, chest That's pain. That's just like, for, it's, just, it's Ethan though, isn't it? He does have like that extra sideman clout. Like, he, you know. The sideman clout is very strong. It's very, in very the UK, strong. it is. It's funny. It's undefeated. It's like it's NDL funny. clout. You know what's really interesting, and it's a, uh, it's a conversation me and the boys have been having a lot lately, is about like what lockdown has done. Right. Lockdown, obviously, a lot of people watching things. Obviously, the fellas was birthed. Turn me into the, an alcoholic. It, <laughs> I swear to God, I started I, drinking mate, so much. I I I have not I I haven't not drank. I haven't been sober for the last six days, right? But um. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, obviously all, all this lockdown stuff, people have been sat inside and they've been watching YouTube videos. Yep. Now that we're out, mate, honestly, and it, this, no matter what way I say this, it sounds big headed or whatever, but it is relentless. What like is going out, like people coming up, saying hello. Like, I, I don't oh, mind it, I don't mind yeah. it, but you, but you have to understand you get a lot of strange interactions as well. A lot of people that make you feel uncomfortable. A lot of the times people just come up and say, hey, what's up? I, I'm get a lot of people watch the podcast. They say, I love the podcast. Thank you, like, it's amazing. I love the podcast as well. Yeah. But you get a lot of strange people and a lot of the normal people don't understand how strange the strange people are. And when they, when they come up to me, I just think you've made me feel really uncomfortable here. Like really, and it's happening so often now. It is weird, it's, it's, isn't it? And it, because things have exploded, like truly exploded over lockdown. Uh -huh. um, and it's just, it, it's gonna sound so fucking pretentious almost, but it's like, no, I get really. bro, I get anxious now. Wait, you're a human I, being. I used to never get anxious, it is, it is but now I get up. anxious. I think some people don't understand like as a human, okay, you go into a restaurant. Here's one that I don't really like. Yeah. So I go into a restaurant or something um, and I see, maybe I'll see a few kids staring at me. I just sit down, whatever, do my thing. Yeah. But that has now ruined, not ruined it, but it's reminded yeah. me for the entirety that You're I eat watched. my meal, I'm being watched constantly. Like, so, you know, if you're a viewer right now and you're watching, okay, you, you know, you're not big on social media or whatever, all that kind of stuff. Imagine you go to a restaurant, you know, there's a group of maybe five kids. They're all there. And you no, know, not even kids, because no, like, it's it older can, it can people. Be older people we have, well. we have just, people in their 20s. Just, this is just a recent one that was okay, made okay. me. Okay, okay. I'm just giving an example. But it's a group of people are watching you and they see you and you can tell they've looked at you. Maybe they're even taking a little side pic or yeah, a video, yeah, yeah. which normally does happen. And you are sat within the vicinity of them for the whole meal. You're going to be yeah. in there for an hour 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, that, you are going to be looked at so much and it's just a bit uncomfortable. Mate, no, it's just a feel like if anyone's had it, the the feeling that you know where you just know like someone's, someone's looking at, you, looking at you and you just, it's just a feeling that you have and you just know that someone's staring. Imagine, yeah, you're just going out, dinner, you're doing whatever activity, whatever it is and just, just know that someone's always watching yeah. and potentially filming yeah. everything that you're doing there yeah. and it's so off-putting that it just, it, ru it does, it just ruins it your ruins time because it, you, yeah. you, you can not think about it but there's always that anxious feeling yeah. inside we you can't know, like, we can't ask mean? the people to not fucking look you know if you want to look you can if can't, someone famous walks through the door even if it's look. me i look i go oh my god that is xyz same but what i do try to do is not like look again if that yeah, makes sense because yeah, try your best they, because we know because they know because yeah so look example we're in a restaurant ronaldo walks in yeah let's be honest fella we're gonna look over 
You're going to look over and you're going to tap gonna, your mate yeah. on the shoulder. You go, that's yeah. fucking Ronaldo. And I'll try not to look again, but I know I'll take another glance because, yeah. you know, fucking it's a weird Ronaldo's one, what's in there. It is a weird situation. It's a tough yeah. situation. But, but it is what it's it is. so hard to explain to people that don't actually go through it because it just makes you sound like a fucking loser. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. honestly, it's imagine the best way I can describe it is that mm. people are s staring at you and and you feel like you're being watched the whole time. Okay. That's the best way I yeah, can describe it. Yeah, it's true. I got a good story. So it's right, a similar me. situation, but it's a good story. I told you about this the other day. So I'm in a restaurant. It's a nice restaurant. It's yeah. uh, called the Ivy in oh, London. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful yeah, restaurant. Lovely, yeah, lovely, lovely restaurant. Uh, and I've gone out with three friends, okay? And they're all they're three girls, yeah. and they're all very, very good-looking girls. So we've had dinner. Or, no, we've had lunch, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and the bartender, the waitress, comes over, and she says, uh, just to let you know, your meal has been paid for. And we're just all like, eh, and what? what? And this Ivy is, you know, it's not a cheap place. No, it's an, an, um, an upmarket so I'll, spot. So I'll, I'll be honest, the bill, we're probably looking at about 400 to 500, 500 pound bill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drinks, you know, expensive food. 100 quid ahead. Yeah, probably 100 pound a person, right? Um, and we're just sat there like, whoa. And they're like, yeah. And we're, so the girls are like, oh, who did it? Like, we want to thank them. And, it's like, and she's like, I can't say a thing. I've been sworn to secrecy. And we're okay, like, oh, okay. So what we did was, Right, we'll just have to leave. We can't. We were looking around trying to figure it out. Couldn't really figure it out. We wrote a note um, that just said, "Thank you so much, random stranger. Uh, yeah. Thank you for it. We wish we could thank you in person. We wish you happiness and joy, whatever." Yeah. Gave it to the waitress, and she, ha um, the guy that obviously paid for the meal was leaving before us because uh, we stayed an extra twenty minutes. Yeah. So she realized she had to give it to him. Yeah. So she's he's gone outside. I look at her, see her walk outside, and I see her hand him a note. Uh, Random, maybe 30 year old looking guy in yeah. a Hawaiian floral shirt. Don't recognize him. Now, my thought, first of all, was does he see these three really beautiful girls and maybe he's trying to sugar, dad, sugar daddy here? Yeah. He's trying to impress. But that doesn't make too much sense because why would you want to stay anonymous? Yeah. So, we got our own fellas mystery here, yeah, right? Let's this, figure this, this out. No, we were trying to figure this yeah. out. I've been trying to figure this out for days. So that one, I, I've kind of ruled out completely yeah. myself, unless you think that still could be a thing. No, no, because the whole and like ultimately, like if you were trying to impress, because you you were like you said with three good-looking mm -hmm. girls, and ultimately if he, if he was trying to impress them and almost like not make you look like a mug, but to almost like alpha you, yeah, then he wouldn't say keep me anonymous. Yeah, because that I, doesn't make I, any by the sense. Way, I was meant to pay for that full meal. Really, you were so, about to cop so that meal. I will just say. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you, my man. Thank you. The because Hawaiian you, shirt yeah. floral, Donny. Yeah. You have done. It was bits. one. It was one of the the girls. One of the girls' birthday. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I couldn't make the dinner. So I was like, well, let's go out for lunch. Yeah, yeah. When I when I when she said oh, the bills be paid for, I was like, you fucking legend, fucking, oh, Lord. Anyways, mercy, you. so th you ruled that one out. So I ruled We're, that sugar out. Sugar daddy ruled out. Sugar daddy ruled out. Next thing I'm thinking is, okay, is this guy a, th a fellas fan? Does he has yeah. he seen me and been like, you know, I love the fellas podcast mysteries, yeah. whatever. I'd love to pay for his meal, and not say anything because he just is a fan that you know humble doesn't want the credit for it just wants to so did, give did, back. The, did the waitress not give you like was it literally no just all he said was it's been comped yeah. not even like oh she was uh, like the guy wanted to for, say he loves your work for, or so it wasn't a kind gesture for you it's been paid for which leads me to my final one maybe it was just a genuine act of kindness by some rich guy because this was in uh what ivy marlebone knightsbridge somewhere yeah, like yeah. that uh, a fancy so part a of very london. fancy part yeah. of london um so not only has he paid for his own meal yeah with his friend because he was sat with someone else. Yeah, he's he's nearly spent a grand in there probably. Yeah, because so on his own meal. He's as obviously well. a maybe man. maybe like look look and a lot of people you know they come into money and they probably do make gestures yeah. like that and they probably looked over they saw young people sat at a table yeah. and you know five hundred quid or whatever to to you guys is probably a lot more than five hundred quid to to the yeah. old rich white that, couple that in the corner or whatever you know thinking, what I mean. Yeah. So. Look, if it is just a random act of kind of what I hope there's more people like that, even not yeah. in like a monetary sense, because if you're genuinely doing that, like you, you're probably well, quite yeah. a good person, you know. So yeah. I thought that's nice sick. Thing. Well, though. it made my day because I was the one that had to pay. So yeah, I was yeah, very yeah. So grateful. shout out. So if you're watching this by any chance, a random man from the Ivy. Thank you yeah. very much. It what, very so you nice reckon gesture. it was just geezer in his 30s? Yeah, was I, he saw, by I himself saw him. Or was I saw he with him. He someone? was with a friend. He was sat to our, to our On left. On a date? To our left. No, like, a, uh, well, a I, guy don't, I don't know. It could have been a date, oh, okay. but it was a guy friend. Um, looked like two guys just having dinner. Because that was lunch. another thing, like, maybe I, I, in my head, I was thinking if he's on a date, is this like a flex on his part to show the to, to show the other girl, uh, the girl, or, you know, if he's on a date, maybe the guy, whatever. Um, 
Like, yeah, look, I maybe. can pay for this table, definitely, but it doesn't sound like definitely that. Definitely no woman was sat there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mm. no, it was crazy. It never happened to me before that. That shit don't happen. No, it doesn't. That does it not just happen. doesn't happen. Maybe I'll do that one day. Well, it might be at McDonald's, maybe but you I should, will do it. Maybe you should pass on that kindness. Yeah, I think I should. Have you heard about that sort I of I think like, I should, right? I've done yeah. it. So I think when I next go to like somewhere similar, Ivy. Or, I might fucking do that, you know. Oh, yeah. Just pass on the kindness. Yeah. Yeah, I think I went afterwards when I was outside a restaurant. I was like, I want to do that now. Because yeah. I remember the feeling it made me feel. I was like, That's you know, sick. it wasn't crazy like oh my yeah. god this has changed my life but it was like wow that is someone else has taken their time to yeah. go out of the way and pay for our meal just and not even take credit nothing nothing it's very fully nice. anonymous it's yeah. like all them times where i see people film giving stuff to the homeless but they always film it on the phone yeah. now well, i guess they are i guess they are spreading awareness when they do that but at the same time i don't like, buy it why don't you just give it to them and yeah. go look if, look there's nothing wrong with you know you doing charity and filming it yeah. and 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 showing that but like, if you're doing it all the time, constantly, and then just trying to claim that you're like this really yeah. charitable person, like I don't fucking buy it. The amount of the boys, um, there's also a great story about JJ helping out a uh, a friend who needed to pay rent. Really? Um, and you know, it's one of those things like JJ just helped the guy pay rent. It was what it was, not a peep of it. Um, and then the, the guy eventually came out with the story. I think it was on uh, Jack Mate's Happy Hour. It was a great, great podcast with a really good uh like that particular story i really liked um and i was just there like those acts of kindness will get like infinite more respect from me jj didn't yeah. tweet out saying i've just paid this guy's rent no, you don't need and, to it's like, and, it, and it's there like when the story comes out because let me tell you if you do enough good things like it, it, good things will happen to you and you will get the you'll get a recognition for being a good person mm -hmm. like don't worry about that yeah but if you're out there constantly trying to prove it it's just like uh, nah if you're constantly trying to prove it it's just, just like, an l bro you're, just, you're, you're just looking an you're looking for, for validation yeah like yeah. oh i did this but you only did it for that validation yeah. you know just yeah. go and do it and just do it man no do i'm it not because, do it because i'm not slagging off i'm not slagging off people nice. that like if i donate to a charity and and you want to post a screenshot saying i donated look that can encourage a lot of people to go and do it i That's would fine. say that but if yeah, it's, it's constant fine. bro yeah. if it's all the time you having to prove that you're some good person it's yeah. just weird no i think i agree with that if you post it you know you post it you're mm -hmm. you're spreading a little bit of awareness maybe for a certain cause certain things and whatever yeah. you do a you do a charity race those are good as well yeah. but if you like you said back, like back in the day was a bit of a trend on youtube where people would constantly be doing videos where they were giving shit to homeless but it's like you were just doing it for that video and you're mm -hmm. making like one a week like okay it's good and i know the homeless people are benefiting but yeah. at the same time you're really fucking you're leeching you're milking that. it you're milking it you're big milking time it. yeah all right cool right well i reckon uh we should do some relationship advice yeah Yo, the trim right now is like is it nuts sorry bro no, I don't know. It's just like I get, I'm getting back in the day, year seven, Ronaldo. Well, let me have a little vibes. look at this, bro. Are you taking the well, piss? Well, you just, but you've just taken I it down a bit to, now. Yeah. Like, oh, it is kind of like that, actually. Wait. I bit. think we could bring, yo. I think we could bring back the, yo. You know what? You should dye your hair. No, I'm not doing what that. What would it take for you to dye your hair? Would you dye your hair for a big, big vid? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't really care. I think dyeing your hair. Summer is coming up. You can get a big vid out of that. Yeah, I mean Simon. Simon does it a lot. Yeah. And I just ask him for some you've tips. You've never dyed your hair, mad color. I'd like to see that. You went like piss I've, yellow. I've didn't only you? do like blonde. I've done blonde. Yeah. But when I first got it done, it was like fucking what's it, lad? I was a walking really? what's it. Was it peak? But then I put the toner in and stuff. I'd like to see you go like blue or something. Because I know awful. he's like, done. I'm, this guy like hates ninja blue shit. hair I fucking so hate bad. Blue hair, man. You, I just don't understand that. Like, what are you doing? Like, just fucking relax. I'm just, trying to see you in blue hair. No, I'm not doing it. Anyways, guys, we got some relationship advice. Chippo, can we get a little noise to introduce the. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, we've got our first Felita. Any more? What's, what else is Ra Charlie Soft got? Round one. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give us a Felita name. Um, okay. Sammy. Sammy said... Just don't um, even let me think, man. My ex still flirts with me and acts like he likes me even though he's talking to a new girl. I can tell I'm being mugged off, just don't know what to do about it because I can't get over him. Oof, 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 oof. Why is simple that, man? You just got to fucking not let yourself get mugged off. Yeah. Just go and talk to a new man. Yeah. Like, just... What is wrong with you? Like, you say you can't get over him. You've literally just given us the exact reason why you should be getting over him. Yeah. Because he's playing you. You're getting mugged. You know you're getting mugged off what what is wrong with chicks and knowing they're getting mugged off and but still hanging happen. about yeah you you it's not like you're not self-aware you're well aware of the situation and yet you still go i know i'm being mugged off 
but I'm still fucking hanging about. Yeah. Fuck off. Harsh, ri- harsh, harsh reality. You just gotta stop letting yourself get mugged up. Yeah. You're letting yourself. Go get chat to up. some new yeah. guy. Get on Tinder. Get out oh. of fucking Blue's Kitchen. Anywhere. Just go. We got a new one. Here we go. Chip, give me a Felita's name. Um, Jeff. 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 Jeffy. Je- Jeffinia. Jafinia. Jafinia said, Hey guys, I love the podcast. I have a question. I really fancy this guy in my friend group. And he has told me privately that he likes me too. But we don't want to ruin the friendship or break up the friend group if it doesn't work out. What do you think we should do? Why would it break up the friend group though? Be- yeah, because like if, if they're all in the same friendship group, they get together. Yeah. And then afterwards, or like it ends badly or it's just a bit awkward afterwards, it could mess up the friend group. Bro. Uh, Come on, Chip. We, this, yeah. this is a known I, thing. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, true. Okay. What, what are your thoughts on people within the same friendship group getting together? Oh, it depends because if that happened in our friend group, it wouldn't fuck up the friend group. No. It's because, But that's because a friend group is intertwined like madly. It's, a, it's a sticky one it depends one. on how your friend group is you can't yeah. really base it just on like Look, every friend group's the same if, I, if, I'll be, if I'm being honest with you Jafinia I, I, I can try it I, I say go for it yeah I just go, go for it, it. just fuck it like it. what if you're into someone you're into someone if it yeah. messes up the friendship group it messes up the yeah. friendship group who gives a shit let's yeah. try this shit out let's see how it goes don't worry about it if the friendship group is strong enough it won't mess it up exactly that's a fucking fact right alright we got a fella here his name yeah. is BTS Alex give us a popper God, come on. Let, let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Come on. Yeah, no, it. Come on, yeah, Alex. Yeah, Alex. Quickly. Joseph. Okay, Joseph. You were thinking Joseph Fritzel, weren't you? Why was he thinking that? You know him. No, I, I don't know him personally, no. I'd hope Anyways, not. here we go. Um, Joseph said, so me and my baby mama, um, my uh, in brackets, my ex, um, are very on and off. Uh, nearly every time I go to see her, we end up porking and I start getting those feelings I once had a while ago. We broke up a while ago because it was simply, it wasn't working. We were both just incredibly unhappy. Every time I leave her or we try and agree not seeing each other, um, and only talking to each other for our daughter, it never goes well. I know this is probably a long stretch, but do you guys have any advice for me and what I do? Fucking hell, bro. I'll be perfectly honest with you. You're talking about stuff that is probably above me. Yeah, and pay grade pay grade, man. Look. I, I, uh, whatever we, whatever advice we give here, I would highly recommend taking it with a yeah. serious pinch of salt because ultimately, uh, I, 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 I am not experienced in this part. Yeah. So what? I was my, still wanking into a sock four years ago, man. Like, if, I'm just, yeah, yeah. This, I mean, even probably like what last week you were wanking into a sock. So no, I've upgraded, man. What are you doing it into? Yeah, now? well, money buys Andrex. Okay. And when you got money, money, that you get Kleenex, sucked. baby. Oh my God, the Kleenex tugs. Yeah, you only get different. like twenty tissues a box as well, and that's two quid. Wow. Money makes money. Here we go. All right. Honestly, um, I- I'm just going to uh, eliminate the other factors and really just go with the fact that this is your ex. You keep seeing your ex, and you keep talking to ex. Ultimately, you have to cut that. Like you, you just you have to have some self discipline. Yeah. Like truly, you have to have some de- self discipline. You know that it's not going to work out, but you know you have to keep in contact for the sake of your daughter, which is completely understandable. And look, you you, you shouldn't not cut off the contact, but you have to be you have to learn discipline here. Yeah. And you have to when you go around and see her, you say no. I'm not going to. I'm 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 not going to continue this. this. Isn't going to go further than the chat that we have about our daughter and sorting things out. Honestly, you have to, you got to look in the mirror and you got to be like, listen up, fella. You're, we know how this shit goes and have some self-discipline. Yeah. Go start going to the gym, learn some discipline by well, keeping I a routine. Just, I was literally just about to mention that. I was like, you look in the mirror and you say, I need to gain 10 kg of muscle. There's only one yeah. way to do it, by going to the gym. Okay. With, within, this, within this situation, he wants to find happiness. Yeah. And it looks like at this moment, the only way is... Is to not keep going back. Yeah. Has to separate himself and stay separated besides obviously seeing her occasionally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But no, have some discipline. The yeah. gym will teach you you've discipline. That. Yeah, the the gym it. will you've teach you discipline. Bang on. Here we go. We got a Felita. Well done, Alex. You managed to get a quite a few Felitas this time around, and they are deserving because a lot of the times they're very fellas orientated um, questions. But we got the Felitas, and uh, this particular girl's name is Shanna Lisa. Shanna Lisa. Shanna Lisa says, hi boys. Firstly, love the podcast so much. And the outfit outfits are always clap. That's the, she no, no, not clapped. She's put the clapping emoji. So oh, she's she's about, gassing us. She's oh, gassing us. I was us. about to say. Um, I've been on and off with a boy for a year and a half. We live three hours away from each other. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Chip. Three hours is a very 
like quite some time. Quite some time away. I, I I called it off yesterday as deep down I know I deserve a lot better. Can you give can you please give me some advice? Shall I get back out there or focus on myself? We've not spoken for 24 hours and I already feel a million times out. Like, Jesus Christ. That we, is You uh, make it sound like 24 hours is like a year. Yeah. That is It's it's, it's perfectly not, normal not to speak to someone for 24 hours. You, you, uh, uh, you that's need, the first sometimes thing you, you need to give yourself some like fucking you time, you know? Focus on now, yourself for what's hours. interesting is that she said, shall I get back out there or focus on myself? Now, personally, I think both of those are possible at the same time. Yeah. Right. You can focus on yourself and still go out there and meet new people and find out about yourself, what you like, what you don't like. It's so true. People if you're get, on yeah. and off with a guy for a year and a half, let me tell you something right now, that is not going to work out. No. If you're on and off for a year, just and, and to be fair, she said, I've sighted it off because deep down she knows that you deserve a lot better. Okay, so you made the first step. The second step is better yourself but you can do that by going out meeting new people having good social skills being able to hold a conversation with someone is a very important thing and you can do that by going on first dates go and meet new people go on pork whoever you want to go on pork get some life experience under that belt mm -hmm. and ultimately focus on yourself by making sure that you are your own number one priority if you're not your number one priority then you're not focusing on yourself 100 you like that yeah no you, just, you know what you just dropped a fucking knowledge bomb that's one of your best in a while thank you brother okay uh we have got a fella here his name is bobby bobby uh, uh bobby bobby said loving the podcast fellas thank you bobby thank you bobby i appreciate that one we love I'm, you, a, I'm, a, I'm a trainer and i've been training a girl for oh. my extended friendship group i love you bobby Oh, Bobby, what are oh, you doing? Bobby. Bobby, what is you doing? Bobby, move your hand. Bobby, duck and weave, Bobby. <laughs> duck and weave. <laughs> he said, but I've come to fancy her. But I don't know how to make the move or change the relationship from client and trainer, friend, and, and into more than a friend. Sounds like what, what are we, some what laws, are we, what are we? What are we saying, Bobby? Bobby. What, Bobby, how can we help you? I don't know what to do, Bobby. Sounds like you're breaking up a uh, client trainer privilege. Yeah, if I were Bobby. you, Bobby, I, I wouldn't make that move. I would have made that move, Bobby. I understand, Bobby, that she hired you as a trainer. Bobby, go to the bar, Bobby. Find a woman. Find, 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 find a woman that you are not training, Bobby. Bobby. This, this ain't right, Stop Bobby. It, Bobby. Please, Bobby, let Bobby. her go. Let her, let her go. You, you got to keep this shit professional, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we just sat there for a full minute and done that. He's yeah. gonna, this Bobby guy is going to be sat there and thinking, fuck me, why did I bother? Yeah. <laughs> why did I fucking bother? Nah, for real, bro, but you're straight up, you're a trainer. You've been training a girl from extended friendship. Look, uh, I'm perfectly honest with you, mate. If, if you've been training her and she's paying you, like ultimately, like as a, as a professional, keep it professional. Yeah. And look, if she messages you, texts you a little, a little sign, sign, and then see where it goes. Yeah. She but makes you, moves, you then, shouldn't maybe. be making the first move. You're the professional in this, in, in this, and don't be, don't, don't yeah. do it, Bobby. You're fucking up your credibility and stuff. You come work, on, come on, Bobby. Just... All right. This next uh, is a Felita and. Uh, Okay, Let, let's go. We got two final Felitas here. Give me a give me a Felita name. Carly. Carly. Uh, I found a guy on Instagram that I really like, and we have been talking for a year now. He reacts to my uh, he reacts and replies to my stories, sends me memes. Lol. <laughs> okay, but he often ends the conversation with a like on my last text. Um, though he could have continued the conversation. Is he simply not interested, or is he trying to act hard to get? Keep in mind the uh, keep in mind he is often the one to start the conversation. We are both twenty one. Damn, he might have a girlfriend. Oh shit! Oh my god, Chip, you just dropped a mazza. Um, okay, uh, it could be possible. It could be. Uh, first of all, get that checked out. Double check that he doesn't have a girlfriend yeah. because that, that's probably like quite a common way. He could be way. like testing the waters a little bit, but he doesn't want to go too far because of his own conscience. Yeah, well, you know. he's or or, he, or he's just genuinely reacting and chatting to you in a friendly way. Uh, in a friendly way, and then he just leaves it at that. But let's go off the assumption that he doesn't have a girlfriend. Okay. Um, I yeah, think I think like, what he's doing is I think I'll be perfectly honest with you. Whoever this fella is, assuming he's not got a girlfriend, is playing this very well. Yeah, I would say he's doing a good job because he's got you messaging him the fellas, which means he's got you on fucking, fucking strings. strings. And and you shout out this fella because let me on it, you are playing this this perfectly, lad. And I, I would like to commend him first of all. But at the end of the day, we always have to side with the people that are sending in. So how can we Uno reverse this so that she is she's on she's on top? So she's I'm got assuming, the power. I'm assuming that 
whenever he reacts or sends her a message or a meme or whatever, she probably does reply mm-hmm. and probably replies quickly from the sounds of it. Yeah. We got to stop that. We got to start going. We got to start posting more first traps and stop replying yes. as much. Okay, I've got okay, one for you. Okay, or I've got just one slowing it down, mm. or giving more blunt replies. We need to. The power needs to change shift. hands. Yeah. Needs to shift. We need right power now, shift. the power is in in his, his hands, hands, and yeah. let me tell you, it's all in his hands. All in his hands. I agree with Chip. More thirst traps. Okay, get the thirst traps out there, and when he reacts. Just, just like his reaction. Oh, I love okay. that. I love that. Yeah, like the reaction. Perfect. Don't reply, Don't reply saying thank you or anything like that. No, we double tap. We like the reaction, and then if he messages after that, like if he, if he's reacted, you've liked it, and then he messages after that. Guess what? Then we the block power, him the pow- completely. Wait, what? And we never speak to him ever no, again. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> the power kidding. is now in your hands. Yeah, you now it's own fresh. it. And not only that, you then hit him with a with a light bit of conversation or whatever. But let's keep the power in your hands. And this time, you're going to like his last message and not reply. Lovely. Perfect. Exactly. we got to switch it back on him. And if you do that correctly, it's no problem. Just make sure the first traps are, you know, good quality. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, this is a big one. This one is from a fella. Okay. Yeah. This fella's name, I, I, I'm going to say this fella's name. This fella's name is Gary Smith the Great. <laughs> Gary Smith the Great has said, the missus only likes missionary. Don't get me wrong. The sex is okay, is good, sorry, he said, but we've been together for a year and I just want to hit some back shots. How can I suggest this without her thinking I don't enjoy the porking? Wow, this is this is an interesting one, but it is certainly solvable. This it is, is this e- is a very this is I easy think to this solve. This is easy solvable Tell because him, like well, in my opinion, his question is how do I change position without oh. Making a thing. You're not I don't enjoying enjoy the parking. It. Fuck me, you just you just flip ask. Him. You fl- yeah, oh, just you flip, flip it like anything. Like, you just flip him into has it. Has he like, tried that though? I don't know. Like, that's what I would do. You lad, just, it, you when you're in there, you got to take control of the situation. Yeah, you bro. don't have to ask to change position. In, no, no. Like, asking right? to change the position. Yeah. Right. If she if, if she doesn't unless, like a certain unless position, unless she has said that she just prefers yes. that one, then you just fucking say like, oh, okay, let's, let, try some, let, let's try some new shit. Yeah, spice it up. Exactly. Try some new shit. But say it nicely. Don't say, yeah. oh, I'm really thinking. Just say, oh, should we try some new shit tonight? Should we try something different? Yeah. And then bang, you whip out dildo and be, you know, the fucking And you say, cops. peg me, yes. daddy. Yes, 100%. All right, last one here, Chip. We've got is a that Felita. That just gave me flashbacks to what he just said. What, you've been pegged? No, no, no. Okay, anyways, we got a Felita. Her name is, come on, BTS, Alex. I know you're coming with that juice. Savannah, that's wow. Sounds, you know what? You know what? BTS that Alex, nice. that honestly sounds like you've had a crush on a girl called Savannah and you finally got the chance to say her name. But we will say no more because BTS yeah. Alex does have a woman, believe it yes. or not. I know. God. I, I, if he can do it, anyone can. Listen up, guys. Savannah said, Hey, guys, love, 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 love the podcast. We got four loves, bro. Oh, Savannah loves out, this Savannah. podcast, but she's got an issue. Okay. I've been with my fella for eight years. Give, give us a clap. Give us a clap. Can we get a clap, please, BTS Alex? Jesus Christ. Phenomenal. What a waste of life. <laughs> For eight years okay, this year, trying- but we've kind of lost the spark. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no. no. He's so work orientated and I feel this hugely affects us. And when I mention it, he gets defensive and says it's not. I've got to buy my own flowers. Yep. Wait, what? Eh, eh, eh. It, she's buying her own flowers. This is this is a, a big yellow, a yellow card. This is a, a red flag right now. All right. I've even tried the old sexy lingerie and it works for a day or two and then it's back to normal. I love my boyfriend with all my heart, but I'm just getting nowhere and it's really getting to me. Look. Sounds like you're dating a hustle, baby. You know what? You know what's really interesting about this is I reckon this uh, this problem is far more common than most I people would like to admit. You're eight too. years deep in a relationship. Yeah. These sort of problems are going to happen, right? The spark will fizzle out and and it to be fair to her it sounds like she's trying to inject a bit of spark yeah right she's, that. she's pulling out the lingerie first of all the Respect lingerie that. should have been pulled out early doors anyways yeah L- women if if you, you ain't pulling out you, the lingerie you know early you doors then you, you're fumbling you shouldn't it. just pull out the lingerie when it's going bad yeah you should be doing these little things because you want to and you enjoy mm-hmm. it and he enjoys it you enjoy yeah. it that's how a relationship should work but it's okay they've been in a relationship for eight years it's obviously gone well enough to last eight years yes the balance is obviously slipping a bit. Yeah. Okay. He's now leaning towards his work from the looks of things, which does happen because guys will always want to provide that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you'll find yourself when you're just constantly working. You're probably not even seeing your girlfriend for a week, two weeks. It could happen. It, it is what it is. 
but ultimately one i think someone being involved in their work is uh -huh. uh, uh, i know for me attractive to me it, it, it's, it's super attractive to me if someone's uh, heavily involved in their work and then not only that but it's also really attractive when they support your work yeah and what you're doing yeah. and supporting you so i think one it would be like instead of having that resentment towards his work try is to support try to support it and i hope that you know he would do the same for you and 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 your work but not only that but also let him know that there's clearly a bit of a balance issue yeah. here like chip said yeah. and be completely open with him and tell him i want to support the work you do i want you to be super successful all yeah. this stuff but i just feel like the balance is off right now is there any chance yeah. we can do, you know we can figure something out here these yeah. things are always fixed by communication bro facts that, that is, is the like, biggest you, l in relationships if you don't speak you won't, you can't fix it if you don't speak your mind maybe sometimes you're scared to speak your mind you know you've been with him so long you don't want to upset yeah. him you gotta well, do it. You gotta have these hard conversations. You can't fucking sh sit through, you know, a shitty time yeah. because you don't want to say something because you're afraid of afraid of a little bit of confrontation. If you need more Go spicy sex to to to, uh, to spark up, you tell him. You yeah, tell him. Look, tell him. I want to do this with you, on you, to you, whatever. I want to do it. Let can we make it happen? Whatever. Uh, can you take uh, next Friday? Uh, take take the day off work. We're gonna go on a weekend getaway. Yeah. We're gonna spice this shit I like up. That. That's a good idea. Yeah, and just 100%. you got you got communicate. Let let the bastard know. Yeah. Let the bastard know. Like, look, I rocked up in some nice ass lingerie for uh, the last two weekends. I'm expecting you to come with some spicy shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Barry. Yeah, Barry. Wear that police officer outfit, Barry. Yeah. I mean, we everyone knows your police officer outfit. And was your shit spicy? It was very spicy. It was spicy. We like spicy. We like hot Four and spicy. Four inches of spice, baby. You already know. Four inches, bro. That's I'm, that's I've... three more inches than I could ever ever provide so congratulations no, thank you brother bro small inch gang yo 100 percent. if you got more than three inches just know you're you're packing heat you're packing big don't stuff. let nobody tell you here otherwise. are the followers we we've never even seen more than three inches no and, and that time you had four inches you used the penis yeah. pump yeah 100%. so we know that that's not even going to be and on lasting fridays for long. we always do knob fridays knob oh my favorite knob fridays yeah we always like we'll have a drink we'll measure up and, and we'll just hang out with the boys yeah. slang, slanging our knobs all around all completely naked anyways on that note guys we would like to say a massive thank you guys for listening in all the way to the end of this podcast you guys are the absolute best the yes. support that you guys show us weekly is phenomenal crazy if you're crazy. listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts or any other podcast platform like that mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate you as well don't forget if you are listening on those you can come and subscribe to the YouTube channel and do not forget that The Fellas Mysteries is out and it's on its, its fourth episode. We're pumping. It's on its fourth episode right now. It's flying. The people are loving it. Uh, go and subscribe. Hit the naughty bell on both podcasts. I need a piss, channel. Chip. you got to hurry up this uh, outro. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Always got a couple of things to plug. But Cal needs a piss now, so I've got to leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye. <laughs>